What's up, guys? Hey. Yo. This is, uh, this is, I, I think we're going to call it uh, Drunk Drawer 2. I think that's what it's going to end up Most being. Most likely. Maybe. Yeah. I feel like it's what it's going to end up being. Let's see. Is uh, Drunk Drawer 2. Yeah. Uh, but we're here with Sam and Craig. Uh, you've seen Craig many times uh, solo, and Sam one time solo. Yeah, Just two. But I think. now we, uh, I mean, trivia is oh, you've four. got drunk four. drawer, you've got your you're own. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. And been, I was on. I, I was briefly on that uh, trivia. Oh, one. that's right. You, you gave that's us true. a new how we're gonna do it. That's oh, it that's was, how it we're was gonna fun. do it. Was I like that. It was mm -hmm. good. I thought that was cool. It was good. Anyways, here we Forget are. about it. So yeah, now we're just gonna we're gonna there's a bunch of whiskey on the table you and that? food and, and you such. See that, people? And we're gonna we're gonna try some whiskey and then uh, as as Craig said, uh, I'm gonna just hope that everything kind of devolves and uh, it becomes a shit show, kind of like the last one. He's exploiting us, Sam. Yeah, he's That's exploiting right. us. Yeah. That's all right. That's an That's consent. Statement. Cool. That's consent. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, yes. I'm giving, Craig, you were that. driven here by your wife. You knew what you were getting into. <laughs> I, brought, I brought three full bottles of whiskey. Whereas I made a poor choice. Only yes. four of us. You, you drove yourself. Here's what we'll do. I've got a dog waiting we'll for me at home. We'll both get into your car uh -huh. and we'll figure it out. <laughs> you hold the wheel, I'll hold the wheel, and I'll hold you, and then you'll drive. I'll hold you. I love I'll hold you. Why do you need to hold me? You want it. <laughs> Is your wife not home? Uh, no, uh, my wife is uh, on vacation with her family, and I'll be joining okay. my family for vacation tomorrow. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So hey, Sam, he wants you even turn more. your microphone so yeah, it's facing you. Bit. Oh, jeez, Rick. You can you can pivot this. You, you can like like that. Part that? Just yeah. Make it okay. in your face. You're yeah, sound yeah, 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 Super yeah, yeah. far away, like Spillane level far away. Yeah, going way oh, over here. Oh my goodness. Here. No. Well, no, it was either that. Mike is either Mike's back here, or Mike's right here on it. He's feeling it. He's there. But we love Mike. Well, he might watch. The Listen. end of the he won't. Uh, the last uh, the the last drunk joy you told him to his face that you didn't respect his opinion via Marvel films. <laughs> that sounds like Craig. <laughs> and I think That's we exactly ended the last happened. tasty trivia with "fuck you, Mike." Yeah. So did I? I, I, no, I, I think that was Josh me. Did. Was I, I drinking? Josh, no. No, we weren't. That was the afternoon one. one but Here's we can drink like. for the next one. Here's what I like about the junk drawer show. It's a podcast. Yeah. Very in right now. Very hip. Yeah. With the kids. The kids like it. They love the it. youths. And we're allowed to drink while we do it. And I could still kind of say I'm working. Yeah. I'm, I'm bu this is this is businessy type thing. You're wearing a business stuff. shirt I'm wearing right a now. business shirt. Are you deducting shirt. these? You're the only one without a collar. You know what's funny? It's true. I did use personal funds and I shouldn't have. <laughs> I should have used company yeah. funds. TastyTriviaOrlando.com like <laughs> is a website you should visit. And now I will reimburse myself <laughs> for this delicious. You're going to reimburse your liver. It's going to be. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be great. I'm super excited. So let's about try one. Yeah, what's, what's the first yeah, what's one? What's the one you already have for us? This is a rye. This, this is, is a rye, rye blend. This is a rye. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with the one I know the le the second least about, because one of them we'll leave for the end is like my favorite drinking is that whiskey. The That's the wood, Woodford. Yeah, the Woodford. And yeah, Sam's yeah. gonna tell us all about Nick of Coffee. Is am I saying that right? Yeah. I don't. I've never had it, but I've heard of it. And then that one. So like, we'll start where we don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was walking through Total Wine. They have amazing promotions. I'm now a pitch man for Total Wine. <laughs> uh, by the way, Not I, gotta, a sponsor, I just have to start here. Be. First, taste it before we even oh, talk yeah. about it. So before we even talk about it. This is a rye. Salancha, whatever you want to say to that. Actually, it's Canadian, so it's okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, eh? <laughs> what you'll find here, you know, it's it's, like it's 40%, 80 proof. It shouldn't, like, light you on fire. No. It has a smoothness to it. You don't need a mixer with it. No. This nah. is cask and crew. Super smooth. It's it's surprising. Little smooth. oaky. Very there's a there's a, a good a good wood quality he just to said it. Oaky. He doesn't know. I well, definitely <laughs> know. I definitely got like a wood thing. quality. Thing. To there's it. definitely let's tannins get, let's get this out there in right there. now. It's did we let it breathe? We should have let it. We should have let it breathe. <laughs> let's get this out there right now. When you do a tasting, no matter what it is, don't be influenced by what other people say. It's what it's truly whatever you taste. No, it's That's it, true. Um, I, when I when I went to Napa on my honeymoon, I get it. I'm married. Tasting Brad. a little, little um, poopy diaper, a little baby diaper. Yeah, you can say whatever. <laughs> little sadness. A little papoo. A little regret. Yeah, little, little I, I like I like using adjectives and like feelings. Um, I taste I taste remorse. <laughs> <laughs> um, I Ooh, taste a little my, a little sympathy here. I taste my dad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sam's, just the feeling. Sam's cut off I taste now. my the feeling. <laughs> yeah, you know. So, but uh, whatever, whatever works for you, they'll tell you. There's hints of pepper. There's hints of of like. I don't want that guy. Different woods. I don't need all that. I don't no. want that influence. 
I, if they say fruit forward, I'm like, okay, I'm expecting something fruit. And that's a little more vague. And All I, like I want that. them to tell me is the ABV. I want the alcohol yeah. by volume. <laughs> I want to know if this How is gonna... fast is this going to fuck me up? Well, a little bit of that. <laughs> little but of that. also, as it goes higher, you need to prepare yourself with your breathing. Yeah. So if you're going to get 100 proof whiskey and guzzle it like we just sipped this, yeah. there's going to be a burning sensation well, that you the, won't uh, get. What was the Balvini? Uh, what was the one you had? Uh, oh, we had the sherry. Balvini's good. Balvini is good, but it was, like the, the Caribbean see, it was the sherry cask one. Oh, that's so a good pass one this to Sam so you can see. We did this. Yeah. This is a decent yeah, product. That yeah. was, was very good. Product. It was very good. I enjoyed but that very much. it does have a higher alcohol content. Sure. Yeah, there was so some was burn it, like, to it. Like a 90 proof? Oh, 90. 90, 90 a little higher. This You could Molotov this if you really wanted to. What is the minimum AP, ABV to Molotov? To oh, Mo- oh, that mm. was just a thing he said, but <laughs> you, you could probably do it with a beer if you really wanted to. <laughs> no, 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 no. Depending on how, depending on how committed you are. <laughs> Those are the real terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> They're putting the rag in the beer. The beer puts out the fire. Like, oh, oh no, <laughs> it's Canadian. This terrorists. went the wrong way. Which there are, by the way. No, there are. According to our president, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Untrustworthy. So are we going to get political for a second? Nah. We, on we, the we, first whiskey. It's too late. We, we already did that started. on mine. We'll, let's we'll do it on the up. third whiskey. Yeah, let's yeah, let's, oh, let's wait till we get to the Japanese one. <laughs> <laughs> That's Appropriate. That Appropriate. That is a very good idea. So the only reason I bought this one. I like it. It is good. somebody put it in my hand at Total yeah. Wine. Same. Yeah, it was good. Total Wine has the worst rewards program I've ever seen from a store. I agree. I feel like I, every time I go there, I'm like, oh, I'm going to get a reward this time. Never. never. Not only is it never... It's the lowest reward. It's a $5. Five. We're fighting for a five, and it takes what they're, they call 5,000 points. For $5? You get yeah. 10. Po- right. It's so bad because What's they're trying the to get you on system? the multipliers. Is it on every dollar? 10, 10 points per dollar. What? So you guys spend $500 to get five bucks. That's terrible. That's a one yeah. percenter. Stubbs card, AMC, I get just, they, I think they just send me more and more stuff for free. <laughs> it starts at 10% and it goes up. So Total Wine knows that they have the best prices, mm-hmm. and they're basically saying with their reward program, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you so hard. Whereas, cheap plug, How dare I you. went to the bulk food store today, and I got like 17 pounds worth of dried fruit and nuts. And it was, their rewards program is insane. It's like, you get a punch card for every $10 you spend. What? And Not then Costco. They, this cannot be Costco. No, no. Yeah. The, the uh, Bulk Nation. Bulk Nation. Oh, I thought you were saying bulk store to not say a brand. Yeah, I thought you oh, were. Oh, no, no. I call it the bulk store because it's literally like. Where is this? Bulk? Yeah, where's Bulk Nation? Wanna, uh, I like a punch card. There's one in. Punch cards are cool. That sounds like a gym, though. East Colonial. Bulk, it's, bulk uh, Nation. Shop. It's, you know where the 2Js is in East Colonial? And like the. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I it's do. right across from that. It's it's in the same shopping center. Um, it's okay. right by my house. And uh, I go there all the time. And Party I'll buy, at Sam's like, house. Party at my house to get uh, dr- oh, raisins. We can have a lot of dried fruits. And mission figs. So many dried My wife fruits. hates raisins. What? I, right? I'm not. I'm I not, love them. I'm not a big. Or, I, mean, I like, like them. She thinks they're offensive to cookies, offensive to ice cream. Oh, no. They're, oh, they're the best wrong. cookies. She's wrong. I agree yeah, with you. An oatmeal raisin you. cookie will change your life if it's done right. I yeah, argue with my them. wife on raisins, too. She's like, they don't belong in everything, but I grew up Jewish, and I'm like, well, they, <laughs> that's wrong. They belong. I have. I grew up Jewish, so raisins are in everything. Pizza Bruno puts them in their freaking meatballs, and they're amazing. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I did okay. Not know They're that. so good. I need a little the more. golden raisins in there. I can't. I got yeah. Short so arms. this this rye. This still the first one. I also. We are going to still do the first yeah. one. We're going to like double taste. Yeah. I, I also had this in. Uh, you need the initial wine. taste, and then once you're coated. Yeah. 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 And they so they Thank were telling you? me they were like, of course, uh, of course. you know, don't you you don't have to drink it with water because if you drink it with water it ruins the taste. I'm like, this isn't wine. Don't tell me. Don't tell me what to do. When you drink wine, you're not supposed to have water with it because every time you do that, you drink a glass of water, you reset the pH balance in your mouth, and that is harmful with wine because you're that's the tannins, that's the acidity. That's the what exactly my sommelier. When mm-hmm. I used to go to a wine club, he used to say, why would you ever water down your wine? Wine down your wine. If you're switching from one to another, splash a little bit of what the next one's going to be, swirl it, swig it, and yeah. move on. You water oh, okay. it, you're messing with the profile. It's the same. It, it's, it's not, well, it isn't, it isn't. So water can this, open up certain bourbon whiskeys yeah. and scotches, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. But it what, blooms. It, yeah, but what we're drinking, it, I don't know that it's going to matter as much. If you give it enough air, these are meant based on proof and based on what they are, just to be drinkable. Yeah. Mm. They, they don't need to be decanted. They're not so old or so aged. This is only three years aged. I think Woodford's regularly between yeah. three and five. It's that older stuff that you sometimes have to let it breathe because yeah. it's been in there for a while. The circular, you know, the snifter glass where the wide mouth, you're just kind of doing that a little bit. Just got to gotta hold it. In the, yeah, you got to let the, the, the calm. You know, the you color of the rye is going to be lighter. Bit. Yeah. You're, you're, it's going to be lighter than, than your Woodford. I've never Again, I've not had the... I don't know how I'm much that. About the uh, I don't know how much that's aged. I don't think very long, but uh, 
it's, on it's there. D- it looks lighter than than the rye. Well, most at, of it at, at a glance. minimum, at a minimum, would be three years usually. Yeah. Even like a Jack Daniels or a Jim Beam, you're it, you'd be surprised. It's it's not made, and then you're drinking what's it's white. It's clear when it comes out of their process. Yeah. And yeah, I just learned about distilled. that. Yeah, it's crazy because they'll let you try that if you go there and you get a tasting or whatever. I did a Jack Daniels tasting here actually, and they brought it. They brought the white lightning version, yeah. which is like the before it's aged. The way it gets its color is from the barrels. Yeah, mm. that's how it gets its color and profile. They What's, should. They should. Um, they should do them blue ones. <laughs> I, lo- I like bl- I, I thought, like like, Pepsi I like blue. you started somewhere else and that's where you ended <laughs> I just up. Thought, I thought <laughs> that's where I was going the whole okay, time. The whole yeah. time. Then I, I don't love it. I really, <laughs> I don't, I really I thought like Sam it. was gonna go somewhere really poignant and nope. be like, so no, blue. It they should, should make a blue, blue <laughs> a blue barrel because I like the color. <laughs> what they're doing okay. with the whiskey and bourbon these days will blow your mind. There's this one. Uh, have you ever had Jefferson's Estate? Maybe Mm-mm. no Jefferson. They make quite a few, and they have one called so. literally Jefferson's Ocean, right? Oh, you were telling the me about barrels this barrels go on a ship, and they stay out to sea for a very long time, so that they can say this was aged at sea. That's, That's pretty cool. It is cool, but it's also like a little bit like fuck you guys. Yeah, this is this is fifteen dollars more than your other one. How oh, it's less cool now. Because you put it, you put it, you you put it on a boat. Gonna check that. You're not <laughs> right. I mean, it's you like they, they can tell like, me that, and I'd be like, all right. I mean, <laughs> it's just, it's, but isn't that the whole bottled water theory? Is it really uh, purified? Right, did, right. Did dis, or is the Evian naive backwards, as they say? Is this it just is coming our, from a this tap? This is our Tolstoy vodka. It's been it's been filtered through a copy of War and Peace. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and I will read pay for that. and read the I, book by Sir Ian McKellen. So. <laughs> I'd buy it. I'd you'd buy be like, it. No, you'd he reads to the whiskey Yeah, he barrels. reads it. Yeah. Yeah. He just sits there. He just sits there and flips the page. We play music for all our whiskey bar barrels mm-hmm. so that they can be soothed. I like the learning about the process. When I went to Scotland, now we're not doing scotch today, but we did I scotch the other time. Yes. And that's all right. You were going to bring the Glenlivet. You're a liar. It's fine. We moved from that <laughs> into down. this where yeah. we have bourbons. This, is, uh, this one's Canadian. Yeah. Rye that is one's, um, typically Canadian. But Japanese. Japanese. And then we have Americana. Which is really yeah. where this is all started, because bourbon, typically, what just to be bourbon originally you had to be, be from, from the Kentucky region, the, right? The bourbon, what is it? Uh, bourbon County. Bourbon County, yeah. yeah. It's like Champagne. Champagne technically is only from, is only only from, from, from Champagne, part. France. Yeah. If you have bubbly in Spain, it's cava or whatever, but it's all fucking Champagne. Yeah. Just like you can make bourbon anywhere. In fact, the Japanese are making some incredible Sick scotch too. Whiskey. Are they really it's crazy yeah. scotch? So what, yeah. what's the the criteria for scotch? So if it's not location. Okay. So well, well, that's really it. It's location. Um, it's it's for for the Japanese. They're making whiskey, but if you go to England, you get a whiskey. You order whiskey, you're getting scotch. Versus if you go to Ireland and you get whiskey, it's with an A. You're getting Jameson. And it's it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's whiskey. It's their version of whiskey. It's not. And so, what is it down to the? It's the corn mash with bourbon, right? Not all. It depends. They, yeah. they, you can do it with different things. But you're right. It's regional to start. Yeah. But okay. what happened is, in America, Virginians started making great stuff. Yeah. So they had to figure out, and then Tennessee, of course, where Jack Daniels. Yeah, Jack. These mm. people started figuring, like, wait a minute. We don't need your water. Right. Your water is not the determining factor. It's the process. It's what barrels were putting it in. Yeah. Balvini, for example, bought what we had that other time. Yeah. They bought those barrels from a winemaker. Yeah. So a lot of them are doing wine barrels now. Oh, the now. sherry, sherry yeah, cask. Right, yeah. the sherry cask. But a lot of them are doing wine barrels. And then some of them are taking their own barrels and repurposing them and yep. repurposing them. That was them. super interesting. The the sherry flavoring was, yeah. was crazy. And I like the, that a lot. The vineyards yeah. are it doing just, the same thing yes. out in Napa. They're, they're taking the old Jack Daniels barrels and they're taking Reversing the old. It. Yeah, they're reverse doing it. Really? It's, it's really neat. It's, it's crazy. The, the, I like the liquor industry, the wine, beer, liquor, all sure. that. Mm-hmm. I'm, just, I'm a fan of booze in general. Not just <laughs> like for it. its effects but it also is a a thriving industry that creates so many jobs no, it's like a good course. thing and yeah. i'm i'm a fan of it from the culinary aspect like i just oh, yeah, i'm for sure. from from the the chemist like i i love learning about that and you know they always say like don't cook with crappy wine uh, and there's a reason you shouldn't cook with crappy like if you're not going to drink it don't cook with it because there's good stuff you know, yeah. floating around in there. Well, the cool thing, I know we're not talking about wine, and we could probably have, like, maybe we'll set episode 22 or something. Yeah. It could be the wine episode where I know he and I would both bring wines we like. Yeah. And we could do that, too, and that would be really interesting. Whiskey. Very little and then about wine. And then we do strains of wine. Yeah, you don't drink a lot of wine. I'm not, not a wine guy. <laughs> I joined a wine club when I was 22 and stayed in it for, for two and a half years where I went every week to tastings. 
Every month they just yeah. gave two bottles. Now, because whiskey and bourbon is in, you could join whiskey clubs. Mm-hmm. They'll send that? shit right to your house. About they have that? boxes of it where they'll come in smaller. Do you think this, yeah. uh, do you think this is a balloon? Do you think this is gonna pop? Whiskey? Yeah. I don't. I also Not a balloon, don't a bubble. Feel, a bubble. Yeah. I also don't feel that craft beer is a full bubble. I think it's mm. a partial bubble. Yeah. Because people are wanting better tasting stuff. Yeah. They're putting yeah. their foot down saying Yes, Budweiser is the beer that my dad drank, and that's cool. Yeah. It's my first beer, it's too. His, it's his thing. But like, I but... want this one yeah. because I don't like the taste of natural ice no, or bush light. Mi- micro breweries are popping yeah, up I just, left yeah. and right. It's I think crazy. there's an aspect of it that's, that is bubble-ish yeah. because but I think they pe- can't all win. No, but no. people care about what goes into their stuff now. Way more. Way more. Yeah, but that's, like, like, that's kind of what this generation now right. is. Just well, this is, quantity. Quantity. this is interestingly, the millennial generation is a lot is turning into a maker generation as well. Mm-hmm. Um, not, I would say millennials, but a lot of millennials are... are we were just talking earlier about... Technically, uh, we fall into yeah, that. You guys are yeah, both millennials, so crazy. too. Well, we were That's ta- why I don't like using that phrase anymore. No. Oh, it means nothing. It's total bullshit. Yeah. yeah Pat and I were discussing it, this, uh, this new show with uh, Nick Offerman and Amy Poehler called Making It, and it's about this making kind of uh, generation, this this people, this group of people that are, are crafting a lot, and it's, that's the game show. That's the, the show itself, but yeah, like... People are starting to stopping to buy stuff like just because something breaks. They're like, "Well, let me go see how I can hack it. Let me go see how I can fix it." And so people are wanting good products, and people I'm not are like that at all. You know what are you doing? <laughs> I'm not like that at all. No, you're not. You'll go it. buy. You'll I go buy. buy yeah. And I typically am too, but I also I've stopped doing that. I'm like, well, I had these great chicken wings at so and so, and I'm like, I'm gonna figure out how to make them. Yeah. yeah oh, that's I that's get this that, guy in hot yeah. sauce. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You'll yeah. make hot sauce. You that's, won't just buy it. No, I'll do that too. But uh, sometimes I'll go to my friend Tyler's house and yeah, we make hot nice. sauce as well. That's awesome. It, it ends up being like fifty cents to make a huge bottle's right, worth. Right. Right. And it's See, it's so good too. No, fifty cents. That can't be accurate because you're not factoring in the peppers. You're not factoring in the sauce. Pepper, you gotta, peppers you gotta, are you gotta, so cheap, dude. Peppers are cheap. Cheap. But you can get ten habaneros for like fifty cents. No, like a dollar. No, but it's, <laughs> you've got to. So you got to. You you're right. The we're haggling. And, and you're not and making you're like, like one like bottle. Onion. You're making a bunch of bottles when you yeah. do that. You know, but I don't know. Uh, you know, that's not my I like, style. It's the, not. The it's make. not mine either. I like to. I, if I can right, buy so it, I want to buy it. Yeah, no, clearly, yeah. right, right down here. Like if there, if it's out there and it's done well, I'm of the the thing. I'm not going to do it better. No, but you can do it different. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a and different sometimes thing. Sometimes different is bad. Like we have. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That is a that is a true statement. It, it is. Sometimes different is bad. Well, it's it's the same as okay. So we're using beer and liquor as our as our litmus here. So uh, our friend. I wouldn't a trust friend, beer that I made. I wouldn't trust alcohol. Well, that I, I have a friend no. that makes beer, right? Uh, and Cuba, Cuba, right? Yeah. And yeah. some of it has come out great, right? And that's fine. Some of it is the opposite of that. Well, not every batch is a win, right? <laughs> when, you, when you make your own beer, he's had a few that he never even brought to events because he's like, yeah. oh, it just didn't come out. Yeah. And and that's what's going to happen. But with Woodford, I know that I'm going to get never their bad batch or the same principle when I'm getting a Absolutely. certain wine that I bought. Absolutely. Whereas if I – and I, I get that mentality. Like he, he loves making his beer. So I'm saying go be the next Bogans. Go be the next Deviant Wolf. Put your beer in and make it and let other people enjoy it because mm-hmm. yeah. if you do something well, I think you should – do it for more people. So yeah. I get I get that element. There's certain things though, like I'm with you on. Like I can never <laughs> it's Asian cuisine for me. Like if I'm going to cook, I, it's never gonna turn out right. No. There is <laughs> my fry ride no good. <laughs> it is never going to be like you get anywhere. Sam, you're Jewish, you know that, right? Well yeah. Yeah. I do know That's that. part of the problem. No, it is forgot. part of it. <laughs> he, he, he but forgot. no, but like I just can, like he forgot his, the, his dick tip he, is he, missing, he, but he forgot. <laughs> 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 they're not doing Still that sensitive. anymore to Still the kids. Sensitive. I yeah, feel like they, it's, it's they falling definitely out of vogue. should. Because if you're not going to teach them how to clean it right, you better cut it off. Well, then just teach them to clean it right. How? But how? they're not. What's the, what what are time do we have? Kids <laughs> have <laughs> are they teaching kids we how have, to fuck? No, they're not. We have two no, sips. well, no, the internet is. In. But I'm saying in the in the right. You get. But no, I'm yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, the sex ed or the or the health education. They're not going to cl- tell you how to clean uncircumcised the or neck? circumcised. They're not telling you. They're either. not going to tell you how to put a condom on. Some you, they used to, but they don't do it anymore. Did they stop? Hell yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, there's well, there's not a, a huge lot of, fight about that. I almost had to that's interesting. Sex ed. Huge fight about it. Oh my god. And you would think that's the thing. No, we do need to teach that. Even if it's with a banana, because if the kid can't put it on right, he's just not going to put it on. He's just not going to put it on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why we have dumb babies. I mean, that's... <laughs> everywhere. That's everywhere. why so I, many. I look at it and They're I go, everywhere. trampoline, and then that's how I remember. That's, that's oh, interesting. Trampoline. Trampoline. He, trampoline. I get what he's saying. If it pushes back on the finger, you got to flip it. Yeah. Yeah, huh. no, I... I'm, but I never did yeah, it that way. Yeah, you put way. the that's trampoline inside. Yeah, trampoline. Yeah. That's... Yep. 
That's fascinating. And I always feel real bad when I it, I get it like halfway, but it's like fucked up and it tears or something. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. Even though now I am an adult and I can buy more of them and everything, <laughs> it just I it brings back memories of 19 and 18 and like these are so very valuable. <laughs> I it's only not have about, ten. I got about this is all I have. The union. Yeah, <laughs> they were handing these out with. Uh, if I signed up for a credit card. <laughs> well, this goes. We knew it would get here at some point, but ah, I had are. Sam come with me to a very important test of mine when yep. I was a young lad, and that is the place there, I got okay. all my condoms. It was the free health. It was clinic. literally a portable. Yeah, remember? it was a portable because they hadn't gotten UCF is cool now. But uh, we are those guys where we get to say it wasn't so cool. It, they were still building. <laughs> the new a arena lot. wasn't there. Yeah. It had a restaurant, and it wasn't great. It was wackadoos. <laughs> Just wackadoos. Oh, wackadoos. Yeah. Wait, what year did you guys graduate? Two thousand six. I was five, and he was six. Five and six. Yeah. He was a little slow. No, I went with a four-year program. <laughs> <laughs> so did I. He's a dummy. Am I? Am I? <laughs> Is that true, Dad? Pop. How does it feel being a dummy? Um, <laughs> yes, continue. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're here. No, I do. I do have dumb fucking thoughts sometimes. <laughs> like last night when there were two, you know third, guys, there were two third places. There were two third places for the second week in a row yeah. at Red Cypress because I can't do math. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Math's not for everyone. And, and they'd come up to me and I'd be like, I'd be like, oh, you know what? Here's uh, some money out of my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> feel real bad about this. Is, this is just for you. No, I actually, I ran into the... Uh, to the bar keeps and I, I got another ten dollar gift card. I was actually but truly since I had my thought process went like here's a dumb thought. I had uh in my wallet I said I can go I have ten dollars in there or I do have a f- like three free Josh Gad's free- phone number. <laughs> I do have three coupons for a dozen donuts at Krispy Kreme and I almost just was like here that, what you know, a feeling guilty. What a shitty guilty. consolation prize that is for winning trivia. Here's 36 donuts. I think that's a good that's prize. A I think it's a good, good prize. consolation prize. Yeah. Hold on. They're wadded up in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, They're like but, hot. <laughs> yeah. But will they accept them? They probably would. They were okay, nice. then they it's were a good totally prize. They were totally cool. But it's, what happened was I just didn't do the math. I saw like 60, 68, 70, and I went, well, those are the winners. But there was a wagering thing. I do that still sometimes, yeah. too. Yeah. And I've been doing it the they did, And they did How the about math. you, Josh? Do you do that sometimes, too? Yeah. I mean, sometimes if I think about it, it's something that I'll do. But I'd like to not do it as much. But you, you know? code wrong all the time. <laughs> oh, no. I'm perfect. I never have any bugs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see how long I could go just saying nonsense. Yeah. I was, you I was not it. very because I didn't like it quick. What I like about you, Craig, is you're honest. I'm pretty honest. You, you, oh, keep, yeah. you know, you keep me on my toes. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, at work today, if I have subpar comedy. At, at the office me. today, we did a we do this Friday lunch thing, and one of the exercises today. So someone, there's six of us, right? And every every this is all real. I didn't even make this part up. Every Friday, someone else will do a little presentation. So today it was our graphic designer, and she had each of us put together like our favorite color, our spirit animal, and then eight adjectives. What's your spirit animal? Yeah, I chose yeah. an elk because Ooh. it is majestic. Yet dangerous when provoked and super powerful. They're like I'm not as I wasn't even thinking of the I power. Mean, they're they're they very... also they also fuck exclusively on <laughs> September 29th in Estes Valley, Colorado. I know that because we were going to go on vacation. And I, I really go. wanted to watch it. That's where I go. <laughs> you go all the way up to Colorado. Wait, September 29th, just to fuck. Yeah. Hmm. Good for them. Like that whole week. Yeah. They're like really violent towards tourists. It's amazing. <laughs> that's my vibe right there. <laughs> that's, that's my I've vibe. Seen, I've seen that Bro. look in his eye too where he just rams his head into a car door because he wants to <laughs> burn. I want to get it in. <laughs> no, my drive is super low. <laughs> but it was going back to the honesty thing because I feel I am and it was one of my eight. And I was, you know, oh, yeah. I think I was only one of two people that even put that in there. So it may, and these are the people I work with every day. I was like, so I'm around a lot of fucking liars here. <laughs> like, if you got eight adjectives and something about your honesty or integrity is not coming up, I don't integrity, know I, integrity, sure. But sometimes that means telling a white lie. Oh, sure, sure. I don't, I don't tell all truths and only. Yeah, truths. I don't think, I don't think anybody can tell exclusively truths. No, there are well, people who do that. Radical honesty? You think so? No, I'm, it's a thing. Oh, it's, it's a thing. There's a movement called radical it's, honesty it's where you say everything yeah. you, you think and there's no lies. But and there, there's dumb. part of it. It's, they used I don't to like call it, it Asperger's. They, <laughs> <laughs> they got rid of that. Those so. people don't have friends. Yeah. It's interesting because I think lying does kind of cloud up your head a little bit. But yeah. there's a certain like social responsibility you have to sure. not say every thought you right. have. Right. 
you have to tell certain people they look good on their wedding day and things like this. Like mm-hmm. you, you get. I think that's what you're saying. Like the yeah. also, like yeah. do you do you tell the person that their fly is down or do you not tell them because you don't want to embarrass them? I do. Yeah. I yeah. Always tell I yeah, will I also. also tell a booger. It's a it's a oh, yeah. You are great about that. But it's because a, I a just close, don't want to look at it. It's yeah. a close. Yeah. Like you have to like. Just like you and going for the handshake. The room. Yeah, it's right. not like you pick up the microphone. And you're like, "Yo, Joe, your uh, your True. dick is hanging out." No, but there's even things that I won't go to when I know someone's sensitive about something. It's hard. It's mm-hmm. hard, even if you think you want to be honest or you even have the right answer. It's just like, ooh. Yeah, I, well, we, I appreciate you know we, bringing, uh, bringing up my weight. <laughs> <laughs> I think I weigh more than you now. Uh, that's very doubtful. I hide it well. Maybe. But in, I'm getting in, up there. We, we worked with an individual <laughs> that is, that who I would true. consider was very um, touchy about various topics. And I think you navigated that minefield quite well. Which one? When it was just the three of us many, many moons ago. We would have our, oh, our Denny's yeah. restaurant. Oh, Sam, remember yeah, yeah, the time yeah, that yeah. we remember had something we that they couldn't relate to? I think you <laughs> navigated that minefield quite well. Yeah. You navigated I that. just think, I, get, I think to the radical honesty thing, I think that's too far. But... The, if mm-hmm. I could be, I would always encourage to be over halfway. Meaning, oh, like, yeah, you, you yeah. just, and there's oh, people that sure. don't operate that way. They don't. They, they're, you know, people, even, and some of them may even be friends of yours. It's just, they operate in a space where they're not always going to tell you the shit. Well, up. okay. So mm-hmm. let's, honesty. So, in, in, in go, Such going with a that, word. It, it really is. Um, I'm going to drink one. Now, yeah, wait, yeah, let's if, do that. Real quick, let's, pause let's, real quick. Is, we're on the next one. Right? This we're, is on two. Clyde, we're on this Clyde Mays, 93 yeah. points okay. on a made Clyde. up scale that nobody knows, <laughs> okay. but Total Wine sells us this. $35. Yeah. $35. I'll try it. It's not bad. I like it You're more. Some banana sounds in there. Yeah. Oh, please don't. Why are they called banana I have to edit sounds? this because that's the sound you would make when you're eating a banana where it gets like really wet in the corners of your mouth. Says the guy allergic to bananas. Um, <laughs> I eat bananas, and that is not the sound. You're not eating it's them like, right. You're not. Um, <laughs> I don't Are think you that's swallowing banana. bananas whole. <laughs> I always do a little bit of uh, with a banana. Always, <laughs> but always. But why? <laughs> just to see. <laughs> <laughs> just to see what it would if I to, like. I maybe you're into it now. Since the last time you ate a banana, no, it's just checking myself up. Maybe I'm he's just turned. making sure if he ever went to maybe prison overnight, you were if like, he, hold on. If he had to do it, <laughs> hold he on. could do it. Right. Yeah. If yeah. I went to prison, I want to know how far I can get it in. <laughs> 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 the answer is not very. <laughs> the answer. The answer is someone who's going to break your. Teeth. I would be a just the tip guy all the way. <laughs> they are going to knock your teeth out. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> You're going to have to brush your teeth with their dicks. <laughs> brush my gums, you mean? Because yeah. they've already knocked oh. those teeth out. So I'm just gumming it. <laughs> it's going to be super pleasurable for them, though. So I, just, oh, I don't do enough. I don't do enough uh, illegal stuff to have to worry about real prison. I don't. That's think. true. Let's talk yeah. about this whiskey. This I whiskey, I, like I know it. nothing about. He doesn't I like, like it. it. I, it's not that he didn't like it. it I didn't a, love it. I, it's good. good. It's passable. If somebody gave this to me in a in a social setting like we're in, I wouldn't turn my nose up at I like, it. It was a good burn. I like it. Now that I've had two sips, I would put Cask and Crew over it in, yeah, in a ranking too. scale. Yeah. Right. That's uh, what's going to happen. create a little bit. Yeah. That's what's going to happen. We're going we're gonna to rank these. This, to me, I'm going to put Coke in it, which already means like it's not my drinking whiskey. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. got a bit of a warm bite that. to it, or you're gonna make a mule or something. It out definitely of it. has a, yeah. that warm, oh, that yeah. warm. I don't that drink warm. a mule, but Pete, it's oh, yeah. so in no, right I now. do, I do. I, I thought mule was vodka. Well, if you do a Kentucky mule, it's, it's bourbon. Oh, or, yeah, yeah. Irish options. mules go whiskey. That makes sense. Yeah, options. and they're good. I really like just whiskey and ginger beer. I, I don't, don't do the like whole. Ginger I love ginger beer. Yeah, I do too. This is again the divide. Yeah, ginger beer doesn't taste right. If it's in something else, I can stomach it. Well, when you have the stomach issues that I do, the ginger beer feels good on your tummy <laughs> no but this is uh this is this one didn't this one burned more like it's got oh that, yeah like, there was definitely proof. a good it's yeah. got that i can I'm feel it sitting whiskey. on my tongue it's got six percent more alcohol yeah. i'm gonna have another it was very warm and crew it was warm it is it's too warm a little for yeah. what it is second sip's better it isn't bad I, it's not bad I, really i better. i like the first sip better Personally, really? I like the first the that no, initial not, burn. I was I'm like, I'm not okay, feeling it. Right. Yeah, well, I'm I'm saying I'm not feeling that burn again. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah it's, I it's got kinda... it a little bit still the second time. Is there something to your tongue being coated with the same flavor? Yeah, yeah. There is like, something. Does that do to something? It. I think That's that a real dulls question. it a little oh. bit. I would I would think. Does it dull it or do you like hit different parts, different notes? Yeah, like like it's covered so then it can hit I don't different know the parts of your tongue. Of that. Well, I, yeah, I guess that that tongue area thing was bullshit. So. 
don't, I don't know, know what I'm talking about. No, no, I, I there is some, I'm, I'm sure wrong, there's guys. something to I'm it. A little buzz, no. yeah. <laughs> Here's what I know. I'm going to have more of the cast and crew that was good. before we get even Into to the third one. Because it's not that I didn't like that one. Oh, is that where we're going? I'll go third on that one? We're going to go third here. No, we'll go last. We're going third there? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, because we've gone You're right. gone Canadian, American, and then we'll go Japanese, and we'll finish Woodford. And Woodford is a, everyone knows it. Yeah. I haven't had it. You told me about it, and I'm Did you turn me on to Woodford? Because someone turned me on to he it about five months about back. Well, I, he did tell us I brought about you guys. No, I brought no, Gentleman you brought, Jack. You brought, yeah, Gentleman Jack. I but you would talk Woodford. to us about Woodford. Yeah, and I like Woodford. Yeah, you'd, mm-hmm. you'd talk to us about it. And I had brought I had brought Bullet, and I think that was... That was also good. Guys yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bullet. Bullet makes a very good rye, too. I was very, very Bullet's happy with the Bullet. I almost good. brought the rye. Yeah. But I, I do like this. Yeah, I would I would go Bullet over that, but it's good. It is good. Really? Can you... Can you... Like fake age Oops, whiskey, fake age is not really a thing. I don't think. Well, I think they do that with wine. They do they try do. to. They do, and they it's rapid age. It doesn't work age. the same okay. way. It, you're never going to get that same effect. They even have little things you could pour your wine through to faux age it. Uh-huh. And they sell you them. They're air. They're versions of aerators, or they'll put it through a certain like charcoal or whatever. That's yeah, is bullshit. that like doing the the vodka through a, a Brita filter kind of thing? Kind of, yeah. But not really. That's a gimmick. And there, there, oh, there are a lot of gimmicks in the liquor industry, mind you. Meaning, like putting whiskey on a boat. For yeah, sure. <laughs> my wife's bought a couple of those things. One of them, the only one I'll speak to that I really like is this. Um, we have this uh, thing that you fire into the cork. It fires a pin through the cork. Yep, I know about this. And pulls a, just a glass out through the cork, mm-hmm. so it's not, the cork stays in the bottle, Ooh. and you're not actually letting air into the bottle because it uses uh, argon gas. To fire the thing in and pull, sucks just a glass worth of wine out of it. Okay, but without that's impressive. through the cork. I've, I've seen that. It's that's wild cool. and it works. And every, we we went to like four or five uh, vineyards where they used them. We bought one. We were there. We're like, we gotta get this thing. So this great. is something you can take to the store and steal. Steal wine. wine. That was that was our intention. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> that was notes. my thought. Yeah, <laughs> but. Know. The, the little they aerators, those things, they don't really no. do anything. A decanter for your wine is probably the. I mean. I just, like the way they, I just like the way it looks. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's cool beautiful. Yeah. I'm not even. Yes, does wine need to uh, open up? I do feel that sure. way with my reds, not mm-hmm. my whites though. But no, your whites you don't need. Whites to. like juice. Well, I don't know if I agree with that because I went through a whole phase that we'll talk about in episode 22. Your, your wine, the junk. <laughs> we're gonna show, we're gonna write it down. We're gonna, we're gonna there are some it. whites that are just incredibly complex and wonderful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And because we live in Florida. I'm drinking whites nine months out of the year because sure. the red is going to flush my face instantly. And it, hot. Doesn't it sit a little heavier, too? I feel like a well, red will sit. that just depends, I think. Uh, for, no, me, it for me, it has. There's some really it light has. reds. You know what mm-hmm. I'm talking about. I like, I like a, a Malbec when I drink a it. Malbec a Malbec is yeah. So they I sit. Malbec. They sit. That might be a lot of favorite. red blends are going to be a lot lighter, too. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. But like a, he- a cab is going to sit heavy. If you're oh, drinking, yeah. If you're drinking three glasses of cab, you're going to be like, oh, shit. Yeah. Plus, <laughs> you just you eat, like, eat, it or eat it. Drink it alone or do you pair it with food? Like, what's Me your- personally? Yeah, yeah. These days, probably more with food. Yeah. Whereas whiskey, I'll just drink it. And beer, I'll just drink yeah. it. But yeah, when I gin on Monday. Ugh, that was... Yeah. When I first started drinking wine, <laughs> it was by itself. Mm-hmm. It was by itself. And I would get shredded. Yeah. After two and a half glasses. And think, why is this happening? It takes six beers or eight beers, but it's such it's a higher alcohol content. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A glass of wine could be 13%, 14, 11, That's somewhere in there. That's my favorite there. thing about a wine tasting is that, you know, you're, it's like 1130 in the, you know, in the morning. You've had like the equivalent of six glasses of wine and you're, you can't stand. You are blanked, tanked. Just blanked out. <laughs> yeah. And, and the, one, the, the one thing I'll, where I'm like, ooh, the negative of wine is my wine hangovers are worse oh, much. than whiskey. Why do you think that is? I don't know. It may have something to do with the tannins. Or I, th- the, I think there's some the sugar. I think that yeah. you dehydrate sugar, faster. Yeah. 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 So whiskey, sense. I mean, I get a hangover, but it's not as bad as if I'm mixing up stuff. I got to be honest. I don't know the last hangover I've had. Mine was incredibly recent. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I, that's why I said it. I agree I with that feeling. statement. Yeah. I agree with that statement. It I had was, a feeling. Uh, oh, man. It was like two weeks ago. Yeah. I had to go. Uh, I had to Uber to get my car at Graffiti, which is not very it's not far. far. Were you working when you drank? No. See, I can't do. I can't. I can't drink and host it. Well, I wasn't. Good. I, I, I good. came. I met Reggie for I mean, a basketball You're my game. boss, and I'm telling you, good. To, <laughs> to a point, I'm better when I drink and host. 
to a point. Yeah, there's a that there's a like range, alcohol, man. Yeah. There's a range. There like, was one. There was it, one. No, okay. <laughs> there's drank. a point where it gets bad too. It's real but, bad. I it's the like, the uh, Balmer Peak. Yeah. It's like right. It's like right around uh, 0. 0.08, 0. 0.09. I'm yeah. so entertaining right around there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then it really falls off. Hard. That's for my birthday. I've been told stories. They were like, "You got blitzed," and I was like, oh, yeah. "Well, I, I slept in that. the parking lot, so you know." Which is a <laughs> very smart decision. Yeah, I just slept there. It's just not worth it. That's why I've been. I, I Uber or I get. Uh, I have my wife come pick me up. But as a younger man, when I started clear pong. Cuba and I were so dumb. We would just be like rock, paper, scissors <laughs> for who's going to drive. And like, we're so stupid. And that, coming from downtown, it was like so dumb. And that wasn't a thing when you were that age either. Uber and, That's and Lyft. True. That's yeah. true. We didn't have that, but we wasn't had taxis. Success- and I had a girlfriend accessible. that could have come and got me. I was just being stupid. Yep. Yeah. Just She's like, stupid. I'm fine. I'm, I'm fucking I'm good. I'm fine. I'm, 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 I'm fine. fine. When you start speaking in an accent, you know you're fucked up. <laughs> you know you're drunk. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's one of the... That's one of the the many modifiers that you could be like, oh, I'm super fucked up I'm right now. I, um, I've Talking only, like this. I've only, well, I think we're at the point in the evening when we have to talk about the worst we've ever been. Oh. I mean, yeah. we are now. You, we are now. You, sure. you open that door. I got, that one's better. I have one. I have one, My, so my worst I've ever been is with Craig Brooks. So we'll, well, we'll that's, talk about that's that. That's fair. I, um, the, the only time I've had a moment like that where I'm like, I should not have driven, um, I stayed in my car telling myself, you shouldn't drive, you shouldn't drive. It had to, had to have been 30 minutes, because I think I was listening to Allman Brothers live at the Fillmore East, and Whipping Post is like a good 30 minutes long. Oh. And I, the whole song, I was just like, <laughs> so don't do long. it, don't drive, don't <laughs> drive. And then the song ended, I'm like, oh, the song's over, and I fucking went home. <laughs> and and I drove one, you know, I did the one eye thing, yeah. it was bad, oh. you know. Um, but, but the lead up to that was great. It was just a world of beer with some camp friends. Um, we were doing Irish car bombs, dangerous, which were going dangerous. Were going. They were chocolate milky, like they were so good. With the, they tasted so much like cocoa puffs that we were just pounding them. Oh, no. And Do um, it. you know, a lot of novelty, uh, novelty shots and drinks. And somebody brought a fucking beach ball. We got thrown out. With the cops were called on us at a world of beer, like a very Craig. pleasant place. Me well, or him? While you're chewing. Oh yeah, yeah. We don't, we don't want. <laughs> I don't want to listen to this while I'm editing. It is the worst sound. You yeah. don't want to hear me chew. <laughs> <laughs> but on the whiskey. How <laughs> wallet? What language was that? Oh, that was English. No, no. Ham wallet. Ham wallet. Ham wallet. Ham wallet. Ham wallet also works. Where's it's that a, from? It's a story that my friend Luke told us that. Uh, it's perfect. Yeah. I love so it. when a female or male is going down on a penis and they're just like going at it the sound so, that they make is often like oh, how more <laughs> <Aunt Wally. laughs> that's a funny guy like he's that. a funny dude i like this guy ham ham so next time that's happening i hope you think of ham i hope i don't <laughs> oh. i will start laughing yeah we have a lot to lose. <laughs> Craig and I. Well, you guys do. Yeah. We'll be fine. Um, That's all right. Oral sex uh, in married couples usually the, is not frequent. On the whiskey uh, side of things, when I was leaving Los Angeles, my friends threw me a going away party. Imminent name drop. No, no, none. <laughs> none in this story. Damn they, it. Count they, it down. Count it down. They were all out of town. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they were all making movies. I... um. No, my friends threw me a party kind of thing, going away thing. It was more of like a we'll see you again party. And we uh, were at this bar, Irish bar, and I was drinking, 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 and I wasn't really paying attention because I was trying to impress a girl. Long story short, they gave me – Not my wife. They gave me a (laughs) – That's why I didn't say a name. They gave me a $300 – I think it's a th- like a three hundred dollar bottle of of scotch, Ooh. and they gave me a glass of it. I like fancy scotch. It was it was the f- and I remember being at that point I was getting to the point of blackout drunk, but this like brought me back. It tasted <laughs> it tasted so good that I like snapped into being. I was like, this is really good. It was this your is spinach. It was, your Popeye it was my Popeye spinach because I rallied after that, which I shouldn't have, um, <laughs> because this this uh, particular uh, female had to carry me. Upstairs, you did not perform. That's a strong woman. Well, yeah, she had, a, <laughs> she had a goal in mind. She wanted to ham wallet the shit out of him. <laughs> you trying to get that ham wallet? Ham wallet. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! That is the. Fu- that could be the funniest thing of the night. I, I do like that. And the I night's do like young. That. 
I so do like that. There's two. There's two I've, I'll talk about, and they were they're both Craig Brooks oh, instances. This idea turned out <laughs> it, was, it was a bad idea. We need a lid that for was that. immediately my thought. I was like, Are we out of ice? Uh, for the most did part. Did you turn it back on? I did. Okay. Um, so I got some. The first one, uh, Craig and I were writing uh, what is a oh. web series that I'd like very much to get back into writing and to do, but. Him and I were texting back and forth, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to pick up something. And I picked up a six-pack of Dos Equis, and he was like, cool, I'll get stuff too. And he had just started drinking scotch, and he had a scotch, and we, we sipped on the scotch first. And then we we killed the six-pack of Dos Equis, yeah. so we each had three. And then Craig was like, wait, I'm almost out of alcohol, but I have one more thing. Do you remember what you had? No, I don't. He went to the fridge, and he pulled out two Natty Daddies. Oh, <laughs> that is Natty Ice's uh, attempt at Bud Light Platinum. Oh, oh my god. god. So it's an overproof 20 ounce Natty. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. And I couldn't get through it, and he, he kept drinking, going, It's so good. <laughs> yeah, that's that. Yeah. Yeah. That's He's like, like, I'm going to drink it. <laughs> it's like four it. loco. It was awful. Oh, that is awful. It was terrible. And it was the. You got uh, sh- shmammered that night? I, that I didn't is... get shmammered because I didn't finish the Natty Daddy, but you got shmammered because right. I think you were also drinking prior to I that. I don't even have at, one story. I think we were at TGI <laughs> Fridays. I think we were at Fridays before that. There's not one story for me to tell. And uh, the I other like one was, was Reggie's what? birthday. That's the one I think of sometimes. Reggie. <laughs> That's the one I think. Reggie's birthday was bad. That's your nightmare at Altamont. That's no, but, uh, oh, that was that was yes it was literally no, across the street. It was literally from here. Altamont. It was yeah. literally across the street. I was referring to the was, festival where the Hell's really Angels close. killed people. No, that what? it happened. That was the here. Altamont Festival in the seventies. The Rolling Stones. It did happen. They hired they the, hired Hell's, the Hell's, Angels Hell's Angels as security, and people, oh. people died. Terrible. And, wow. yeah. yeah, that sounds. Awful. They got into fights. Oh, weird. <laughs> what? Um, Out of character. But the the natty daddy sounds like the equivalent of like when you're really high and you find two hot dogs in a Ziploc bag <laughs> that you aren't sure where they're from or how long they've been there. He you're like, well, them. fuck it. They gotta be fine. There's enough preservatives they're, in them. They're hot dogs. Yeah, they're hot dogs. They're totally fine. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> Hot dogs are gray. <laughs> <laughs> they can be. It's just a bratwurst. Yeah, no, it's, it's just a bratwurst. Maybe I don't know. We'll find out. What's the worst thing you found in your fridge that you said, "Ah, fuck it," and then oh. ate it, or because those hot dogs were last week for me. No. <laughs> oh Jesus! We did have two hot dogs, but they were only a week old. I'm trying to think because oh, I, no. I, I'm. That's my. That's I don't for do me, that for me. me that's neither. my. Well, that's this, my thing. I, I will do that eat with anything, and that's probably why I have ulcers. But <laughs> it I might be. It it's, might be. I eat anything. <laughs> I'm quick to throw away. It's probably mm-hmm. pizza. with food. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. like at a so certain fast. point, I was just yeah. like that doesn't like, last doesn't, in my. Doesn't look no, right. it, I don't want to put that in my body. No, if I'm like out or if I go away or like okay, so when I was in college, I used to eat Little Caesars all the time because it's cheap and like why not. And I could put it in my body and not worry about what's going to happen. And uh, I, like, got a pizza before I went home for a break or something. Uh Uh-huh. And I came back and I was like, is this still good? Uh, and I ate it, and it was not. I had 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 chili that I made. Arguably not good the first time, but. (laughs) I had chili that I made that just stayed in the back. Kept getting further, further back, back, oh. back, 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 and I still ate it, and I was okay. But no. I knew eating it. I'm, I still ate it. I knew eating it. This isn't good. <laughs> do you do you get a thrill out of eating risky food? No, it sounds like no, it does. No, I well, don't. well, if you do, do you I have some a... hot sauce that I made <laughs> that's been in there for four months. I don't think I should do that. Do you hot get sauce a shouldn't ham go wallet? bad. I think I think if you cook Condiments. it, if you cook it down, it stays longer. Yeah, but it. When, when it's fresh ingredients, there is like a shorter window that it lasts. I will, I will not eat Condiments that. are those things that people just keep in their fridge indeterminately, but they go bad. They, they absolutely they go, go bad. bad. That and is people true. are like, oh, this ketchup is fine, which I'm that person. It's <laughs> never fine. My but mustard and ketchup are very old. <laughs> people very come over old. and I go, please do not, do not eat that. That is very old. <laughs> Sam's like, oh, fuck it. It's part of the family. Don't touch it. <laughs> no, that'll never ha- I, I'm just, I'm wired differently. This goes to the, the oppositions we have at this table. It's just like as soon as something even gets close to the date. I'm not even waiting for the date. Oh, I'm yeah. like, it's before oh, yeah. the date. But the dates are, and this is not me they're being gross. They're I suggestions. Know that you're they're right. I get they're it. Bullshit. I've done the research, but there's a mental game to be played yeah. when you're looking at that thing. And I'll, I'll give the example, which is kind of ridiculous almond milk is has no dairy in it 
Right. Right? So it's probably not going bad because it's water well, and nut juice. Well, almonds <laughs> can go rancid, you know. Sure, but probably not as no, quickly. No, no, definitely as, not. It, yeah, it takes a, a while. It's yeah. a tactic that they're using to get us to buy more to stuff. To buy more shit, mm-hmm. yeah. The only thing I would admit to not always checking, because we go through a lot of eggs, I don't ever check if there's a date on the thingy. I know there is. Because they put it on everything, mm-hmm. so there's a maybe I've eaten an egg that's been out of date by accident. Yeah, but if it I if I notice the date and there's two or three in there, yeah, I will throw them away. I'm 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 against my my heritage that way. If I'm you like, uh, I will throw that away. If you shake the egg and it goes like, blah, 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 then it's bad. If it says ham wallet, if it says ham wallet <laughs> when you shake it, ham wallet. <laughs> what if it says I'll suck your dick? Well, then you, you, then, you, like, you need to get so. more of those eggs. <laughs> I want to know where that farm is. <laughs> um, so, I want you to tell the Reggie story because I feel like I've told it. I don't think I've told it on the podcast, but I've told you. I'm Poor fairly Reggie. certain. I'm gonna tell yeah. a version of it that makes me sound cool. Yeah, I, I mean, because I did to come be fair, to the show that day. You were the cool guy that night. That night, you were the cool time. guy that for night. a time. And everyone passed out before me, so I remained the coolest until Mel saw me. I was the least cool. <laughs> the least cool when someone saw me which, wasn't uh, drunk. Which birthday was this? Set this up. Reggie was in 20s. I mean, uh, it's not a milestone birthday. Maybe it was. No, it was, it was, a, it was a throwaway. Yeah, six, few, seven few years ago. birthdays are yeah. milestone after 21. After 21, I mean, it's nothing. It's all ruined. <laughs> Everything is shit. Yeah, they don't count. Even the 10s don't count anymore. I don't remember all of it, so I'll do a shortened version. I I'll know, try and fill in where yeah. I can. We go to Rachel's. We go to an adult establishment. Yes. There's four or five of us. It was me, uh, you, your partner for clarity. Yes, David was there. Our, he drove. Our beer friend and Reggie. Who's the beer friend? Cuba. You're right. I know because I I will never forget. No, because I, en- I know where I mean, he ended up. That, uh, I know where he ended up. I will never forget really where he passed out. <laughs> it me, was me hilarious. <laughs> I peed over his head, but we'll get to that. <laughs> We'll get to that. Why? I did. I did. A stream fully over his head because of where he fell asleep. Okay. By okay. the toilet. Yeah, by like, the toilet. In it, basically. He was on the mat, though, which is important. So we go to the club, and a couple of things happen. I had the hookup at the club. You so did the guy the gave us the first bottle of vodka gratis. Pinnacle. Zero dollars. No yeah. money. Oh, yeah, Pinnacle. Like, bad. he did not even require a second one to be purchased. It was just like, because I was doing certain things at the time, free bottle of booze. Mm-hmm. Of course, because we're in the VIP on like a Tuesday. We get all the attention from yeah. the C minus squad that they have going on a Tuesday night. Yeah. Reggie falls in love. They became C plus though. Oh, they became <laughs> B minus. <laughs> Reggie falls in yeah. love, and we we I mean he tries Just, to figure out how to get these girls to come back to the spot. He was I, I remember vividly like it was so we had the, the like Craig said the bottle was was given to us the first time. David had maybe one drink from it. He was maybe, the driver. And he, he was DD, barely so he it. had maybe one. It was Craig, Cuba, and I drinking from it because Reggie had uh, a shot girl a that shot he fell in love with. Just <laughs> in, they were exchanging they were just, tonsils. That's that's Reginald. <laughs> but he did well. Yeah. He did well. Reginald. Some point in there, I said okay to the second bottle. And yes. Bought it. Yes. And we somehow eradicated it. Yes. It went in our bodies again. Still, the three of us. Not sure that's what happened. Always, that's always a point in, in a story where you're like, we, when you don't remember, how did we do that? Yeah, that's no. incredible. Like that's most of this off, story. Yeah, well, oh god. When you polish <laughs> off alcohol and you're like, how is that even a thing? I don't remember. We're two bottles in. We pay. I'm telling Reggie because I'm already drunk. I'm slurring. Whatever. I'm like, don't worry, man. I'll get girls to come over. Whatever the fuck you <laughs> want, man. Stop. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. We leave. I only remember that David has to take us to a Target parking lot. Yes. For several people to vomit. Cuba threw up in that parking lot. Yes, he did. (laughs) But no one else yet. I don't think so. I don't think we're there yet. So we get back to... to, (laughs) We actually go to Reggie. It's Reggie's place. It's Reggie's house. Yeah, yeah. It's Reggie's place. Which is across the street from here. Very near here. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. And it's upstairs. I remember that. We get in. I do get a couple of girls to show up. That's later. That's true. Because we started... And I, now you'll have to fill in what happened. I'll, I'll try. There's arm wrestling. There's yes. regular wrestling. Yes. There's weed. Yes. There's these two girls that show up. Uh huh. And I don't know which happened what. Okay. So from what I from what I can piece together from many years of trying to figure this out and tell this story, um, I think we wrestled we, shirtless. We got there. Hot. I don't know if that's true or not. I can't disprove have. it, but it might have happened. Um, when we got there. There were the 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 girls that Craig had convinced to show up were there. Oh, okay, that's so good. they they see I did a showed, good thing for Reggie. Good you job. Did. They showed up 
And uh, the party and was ready to go. They were like, "We want to smoke weed." And Reggie was like, "That's okay. cool. <laughs> like, I got you." So uh, they did that, and while they were doing that, I'm fairly certain Craig and I arm wrestled at least, and I got smoked. I got smoked. And then I was like, well, for real, wrestle me. And then I won that. Definitely. So, <laughs> then, But I think my shirt was off. Uh, that might be true. I really do think That's that. how you tell which team you're on. No, because I get this way when I have a certain amount of alcohol. If we're going to do something, if it's manly or whatever, <laughs> I'm just, my shirt's coming off. Yep. You know yep. this. You know this. I watched, I watched Craig explode out of both ends once. So <laughs> nothing you tell me is going to surprise me. <laughs> He had, he looked like, like something out of a horror film. It was, it was, it, it was pressurized. It was like when you, when you put your thumb over a hose, but out of his asshole. And he, the whole time he was looking right at my dick. <laughs> yeah, time. because it was all weird and stunted, like a thumb that got stuck in a door. <laughs> But it was also like hard and flittering because I was shitting. It was like, ooh, 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 and, and he couldn't look away. He's like, "Oh, do you need any help? Stop looking at my dick." We uh, we really just closed the door and let you be. We let you ride that storm out. But anyway, oh, Jesus, you're shirtless. You're wrestling, Pat. We're not sure that I'm shirtless, but I'm sure I mean, that I was probably for shirtless. For the sake of the story, you're for not the, shirtless. For the sake of the story, you're shirtless. I bet I was. Uh, though. So I, I don't remember, man. So know. the last thing I remember is so we wrestled whatever. I was like hot, obviously at that point because Craig and I just wrestled supremely intoxicated, and I sat wait, wait, down but before you go on. Did I? <laughs> did either of you during the wrestling? Get to that point where you're like, this isn't funny anymore. I'm going to beat the <laughs> shit out of this motherfucker. I feel like that and happened. And you had to. So it, yeah. Where it's, no. like, it's like, <laughs> I can see, I've seen the look in his eyes where it's like, it's like, it goes, it's, he's laughing, but he's not smiling. He's, <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he changes, something changes. And he's like, and you're like, oh, That's wait, we're really wrestling now. That's why animal is the elk. Yeah. yeah. You don't. Full, full circle. That, that, one week. that is why we're, it's, we're wrestling now. It's Craig, not, it's, it's, <laughs> it's not even it's, it's not even that, that Craig it's not that even that he changes he goes into elk mindset and he just wants to fuck yeah <laughs> he's, he's gonna go after that car <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna you thought we were you. wrestling I was trying to fuck <laughs> so, so we did that I remember sitting on the couch and and, and I think more weed came out I'm I don't. Yeah, I don't remember. Allegedly, yeah. I, the I women brought it. I, in defense I'm of us, fairly certain. We were, were, these, not even were, were these women from the club? They were not. No, they were no. from. Uh, they we were met them from Clear people, Pong. Right? Yeah. Oh, okay. And they were the. And I know this is now a way to say that they were the plug. They oh, were the plug. They I were the that source. Means. That's a term. That's a term. Help him. Where you get the drugs? The plug. The plug. Like you, you have. You're missing something, and they fill that plug. They plug that hole that you're missing. But it's, it's a it's a vernacular term for drug dealer. I watched yeah. three seasons of The Wire. I they, never heard. I that. don't think it was back then. Season four. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I learned it from Kevin Gates. I don't know where I learned it. I think it's recent. I, I do. I, I think it's in it. the last ten years. Yeah, I would, say, I would say. That. I know there's a song called Plug Walk, right? I think that's what that means. Is that drug drug me? No, it's about Plug electricity. Walking? Oh, that makes oh. sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really? not. No. no. <laughs> Um, anyway, the girls brought the drugs, so not us. The girls brought the drugs, <laughs> not us. I we, sat on we, the couch. We did the drugs. They made us do the drugs. <laughs> at somewhere, at somewhere help, during help. this whole thing, uh, Cuba went to the bathroom, laid down on the carpet in front <laughs> of the know, toilet. The thing. All right, and <laughs> <laughs> laid down on the carpet in front of the toilet. And just passed out. Oh, he vomited yeah. first. Well, into the toilet. Correct. That's yes. Good. He kept it clean. He kept it clean. He did but, us all a favor. But laid down in front of the toilet. But his head is literally, there, literally in front of the porcelain. toilet. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. On the, on the ground. Okay. Yeah, yeah. On the ground. Okay. I so, thought he was sleeping nicely. No, no. Well, oh, yeah, he's peaceful. I mean, yes. I've ended up there, and it wasn't from from drinking. It was from a stomach thing. It's the yeah, worst. That is bad. It's the oh, worst. Yeah. Sleeping on a toilet. But multiple oh. people had to pee, and you just didn't move. I did. You just peed over. Just peed over. But his head. Like, I'm a dribbler. <laughs> so I peed on Cuba 100%. 100. 100%. 100%. He knows. And I apologize. <laughs> Later. Dude, I'm super sorry I peed on you. I'm really sorry I'm peeing on you right now. <laughs> that's so gonna, you're gonna, that's going to be on the guest book. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. the best man at that thing. I'm, Are I'm, you I'm really? I might, that's I might, awesome. I might put that in. You should. Do not, sorry, do not shove the bride 
into some bushes. Well, I did that too. You did that too. <laughs> you've really, you've really. I do what I want. Your speech, the crux of your speech is, I have been terrible to the two of you, <laughs> but uh, we've changed and grown because of that. That's right. So I, I ended up on the couch, uh, holding a pillow like this across my chest, oh. and just sleeping. That is how I fell asleep. Reggie never made it into his Reg, bed. Reggie we were at didn't Reggie's make it house. Into his bed. <laughs> he stayed on the floor with no pants on, just on the floor. Yep. And uh, what happened to you? Well, I called my girlfriend. At the now your wife. Now my wife. She, mm -hmm. st she stuck around. And I said something that was probably like, come get me. <laughs> <laughs> and she knew where I was, but didn't know where his apartment was. So I come out the door. They're all passed the fuck out. Yep. The girls have evaporated. They don't exist. Oh, the, uh, the new one. Hold on. Number three. Yeah. The girls are gone. And I hit the... We're on the second floor? Yes. I, I stumble to the banister. And when I get to the banister, I start projectile vomiting all down the banister. Gross. <laughs> Fucking anyone who had to touch this, this thing the next day would have been dried and awful. So I start throwing up. I'm on the phone with her while throwing up. Come get me. <laughs> Where are you? She's saying, Where are you? Where are you? So by the time I get to the bottom and I throw up some more, I, Drop I just start yelling. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> she is no. Oh my god! Like I a have, little kid. Uh, I have the same. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. You do. I, I you jump. did that. Oh yeah. Hold on. Yeah. That was different though. That it was, was. It was um, Shannon. Shannon. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm, I'm, but I'm on the phone at the same time. So yeah, yeah. I'm like, in my head, I'm thinking, I'm just telling her, I'm here. Come get me <laughs> right here. <laughs> but th what got her to me was I was being loud, and she found me, collected me, and you know, I got home safely. Yeah. I'm still here. Okay. It out. So in, in lieu of that, I'm I, here. <laughs> I woke up. I don't know. That, that's, that's Even God was looking down like, I know. <laughs> I know, man. I told you don't do that. <laughs> You're going to be fine. <laughs> I, um, I eventually woke up. Cuba still passed out. Uh, Reggie, nowhere to be seen. And I, I, I couldn't find Craig. So I started walking down the stairs. Did not touch the banister. Would like to throw that out there. I was, I, I was, nope, didn't That's do lucky. that. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was very lucky because I was still pretty fucked up. Yeah. And um, walk, walking down the stairs, I took out my Motorola Crazer. And Ooh, yeah, this was a while. that's that's a that's that's a telltale. That's a time uh, stamp. Yeah. Did we even have the for iPhone? sure? <laughs> I don't think so. Or if it was, it was Gen One. Yeah. Like wow. and it was it was right before like smartphone Android yeah. like, era. So I call my my girlfriend at the time, and I'm like, listen, I know where I am, but I don't know where that is. And she's <laughs> like. What do you mean? And I was like, I need you. I, I was like, I'm at Reggie's house. And she goes, Well, where's Reggie's house? And I was like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know where that is. So, Drop a so, pin. <laughs> so I'm, we're, we're on the phone, and she's trying to get me to like give her landmarks or a street sign or anything. And I went, You know what? I'm just gonna yell, and you follow my voice <laughs> until you find me. And I just start screaming her name. You were Shannon. screaming her name. She, Shannon. I never said Melanie's yeah, name. Yeah, I was like, mm. Shannon! I love that. She, and it was just, just for like... Very Marlon Brando-esque. For, yeah. for very... For, for I would say like five full minutes. Ugh. And she's Somebody on the, the phone Somebody the whole time. Yeah. On the phone the whole time, trying to get me to stop. I finally go, I can't find my way out. <laughs> because apparently... Drunk Pat's an idiot. And yeah, I climb over the fence. Oh, dear. And fell immediately to the ground. Part. I remember that part. I fell immediately to the ground. And saw the street sign. She came, picked me up. We went home. Like, everything yeah. ended up fine. But it's funny that you said, I, I'm, I'm here, here. is what I said. And I'm screaming. Her she, name. We, her name. Yours is probably like, better. I, I just. Uh, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's an existential cops, moment. You figured out this is what it means to be alive. Yeah, I am I, here. I am here. The I cops here. were absolutely called. That absolutely happened. Yeah, it's a. it was a densely populated area. Yeah. But it, it was late. It was literally here, across the street. So no, it was literally across the, right street. across the street. I meant it was here. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. It was in the he apartment was, complex. He was here. <laughs> he was yelling it. He was here. I uh, I once, re my friends and I were recently just recanting this. Uh, I tried to jump 
on Fifth Avenue and touch the traffic signs in uh, Ooh, New York. That's you know, right. the, the traffic lights. I said I could do it. I kept swearing that I could do it. No. And I've got a, about a three inch vertical leap. <laughs> <laughs> and I was not getting close, but I kept that's wind thinking, aided. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I kept thinking I was getting closer and closer. Um, that was a fun one. And what tell them about the time you put the uh, shampoo bottle up your butt. That was not a thing that I did. <laughs> that's a different friend of yours. Craig, was that you? It was. It was Sam. Sam White's no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Because, listen. Remember I you showed me the picture? Yeah. <laughs> it was an accident that I did yeah. 12 times. <laughs> I had to be sure. I was just watching and it went in. <laughs> I was like, would this happen again? It was a I gardening accident. 11 consecutive times? I fell on a cucumber eight, 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 to, eight to 12 times. <laughs> It's a David Tell cucumber, joke. Cucumber, that's aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it would depend on how ripe the cucumber is. To I be, guess. To be um, honest. No, there was the fifth. I dr- tried to think, touch thing of Fifth Avenue. And then, oh, most recently when I, I had my bachelor party in New Orleans, and I'm a fairly tame guy, but that town is just the devil. And uh, I had a stripper sitting on my back, and I was I swore I could do push-ups with her on my back. <laughs> <laughs> I, bet, I bet you could. In, in, in my sport coat. And my friends were like, no, Sam, we know you've been working out, and you know, you're know you fitter in this day and age, but I thought I could do it. And I couldn't even plank with that. <laughs> and it's, she wasn't a big girl or anything. It was, she was a normal well, she's size. She's a stripper in she New was, Orleans, probably yeah. not. I also did New Orleans for my yeah. post-bachelor party. Which club were you at? We were, that was back. Uh, we got. Uh, we were at a ho- We were a hotel room just for this. We did the Crown Plaza. Then we got thrown out of our hotel, Ooh. and we had to go back to our actual hotel. I've never. Who been... didn't care? <laughs> we got thrown out of like the best Western. Oh right, you had a private. I, I yeah. We went to like a strip club. They had a. Pen- we did. We did that they had too. A penthouse club there. That's actually really nice. We club. went to the. We went to the Hustler Club the first night, and I got the shit kicked out of me by a bunch of strippers. And I. This is. This is. I feel how like you're, you're skipping over something there. They well. They they brought me. <laughs> They're up very on stage. aggressive. Yeah. yeah. They, if they pull you like that. They were I did that they to were Mike all Thomas. like they were the first one slapped me and you knew it was bad I you know I felt it and went fuck but the whole crowd got quiet oh yeah everyone went yeah they'll do some fun oh stuff. Like, everyone was like oh no and then oh. they stomped perfectly with their the the heel went right between uh. the meat. And I was, everyone again got no, real th- quiet. No, thank you. And I kept saying things like real quietly, like, please don't. <laughs> and at the end blueberry, of it, this just gives word. you, this just gives you an idea of who I am and who my friends are. But at the end of it, I col- my shirt was wide open. Yeah, they ripped it. I collected myself and I said very calmly to the whole crowd, I believe I came up here with a pair of glasses. <laughs> <laughs> to which one of my friends was like, I think I found them. Like, those would be mine. <laughs> It was a uh, yeah, but but drinking wise, that is that was more like this, you know. That wasn't drinking to get fucked up. I would we were having steaks, we were having cigars, we were drinking. But that's what the bachelor Fine. party, yeah, is. that's what it should it needs, be. That's it what it needs be. to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When when we did one, I'll not name names on this one just in case. But we were in Miami, so those of you that me, John, me, anyone who knows the group, that, yes, yeah, they'll figure it out. Yeah, but we put the bachelor on stage because I found out. So at, at strip clubs, they do these really cool things called features, right? Yeah. And they'll bring in... I'm not a big fan of the clubs. It was just something we did. Yeah, No, you do it. You do I it. Do it. You do have like to. Them. I don't think you have to. I'm not saying that. But at this time, I really like the result because we got very lucky. This was not planned. And we went to the biggest club in Miami in square footage, not like the most successful. And a porn star was featuring that night. A real Nicole Aniston. I fucking remembered her name finally because I went ahead and oh, looked yeah, it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, She's not a bad-looking human. And she's a real bona fide porn star, and she was featuring. So, of course, when she gets on, and I spoke to a floorman to figure, you know, I've got a bachelor here. What's it going to take? It was not a lot of money (laughs) to get the bachelor up there. She had him on his back and basically did what she would do for her professional career up on him. And I'm like, this, I've never seen it before. And I've been to a lot of clubs. (laughs) Okay, I've been to clubs in every city I visit. I'll go to a strip club. It's just one of the things I just like to, to just to see. You gotta see what the you know you like is. the local culinary. You know, I'm, stuff. I'm about food. You're I about not food. I want to know what the vaginas food. look like around <laughs> yeah. here. Show I me your see what it looks like. Show me your titties. Yeah. So and I'll, I'll, t- just to compare, when you see one po boy, you've seen them all. <laughs> <laughs> In New in New Orleans, they did look like oyster po boys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I saw one that looked like a beignet. All right, moving on. Powdered sugar and all. 
oh. <laughs> she got close. I went. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the worst part was when the powdered sugar actually came off. <laughs> She was able to get it to fucking. <laughs> and then it played a uh, Louis Armstrong tune. <laughs> yeah, <but laughs> she put a kazoo in it and just ripped the squad. <laughs> anyway, when they're doing a feature and you have the opportunity, I had never seen it, but it was impressive. What she was doing, and he was very uncomfortable because, <laughs> like, again, she was doing her profession, not strip club stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, what she does for movie a living. Profession. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, she's a movie porn star. She's not a stripper. Yeah. And just the money was getting thrown at her, so everybody was throwing money. It was great. It was <laughs> so did he get any of those tips? Did he make money? He did not. Mm. You do not get to take their money. He got... or beat you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could see me being if... like, ooh, a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> And if it is who I think it is, very beatable as a human. Very beatable as a human. They're all. <laughs> they're all that way. No, but I think the one thing, if, if we're going to just for a second touch on bachelor parties, because I am putting one together now. I am also doing that, actually. See? So so any any the, advice? It's about experiences, right? And, and you, you touched on this. The steak dinner, the whiskey, that's got to be there. I um, went to the World War II Memorial Museum because and a ghost tour because that's my bachelor I party. I did that too. <laughs> yeah. The National – even though I'm the degenerate of the group or whatever, <laughs> we, during the day, went to that museum, was, which was – Phenomenal. I bought a bow tie and a You're a also a, a history buff, too, I do, I do like history, but yeah. so, so does Sam. Yeah. So, like, Mikey made sure that was my best man. He made sure that, yeah, obviously we're taking Craig to the club. We're taking Craig to the casino. That museum is phenomenal, though. It's the, maybe it's going to be the best history museum I've ever seen. And I've been to New York, and I've been yeah. to L.A., I've been to all these places. So make it about experiences, right? Like, if your buddy, if you're, setting, if you're the one setting it up and he loves fucking fishing you figure out how to make it around fishing we, yeah. or something yeah. like we that. wanted to take like for example we wanted to go fishing but like yeah i am i am the anxious kind of person where i was like what does everybody else want to do <laughs> and that's why we went to the hustler club because i didn't speak up on my own party right, but, but it was fun it was great and i don't think like let's say you're doing a bachelor was being and you got friends. assaulted true and i got uh, yeah by accosted. women which it doesn't count <laughs> right? It doesn't right. count. Saying. You're too. right. You let him hit You're you. You're right. No. Hashtag, not hashtag you Sam too. Me, not. Me, me as well. That's going to be my hashtag. That'll be it. Me as well. <laughs> hashtag Sam exclusively. <laughs> the reason I support making sure that... Now, I also do Bachelor Weekends versus Bachelor Nights. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm DJing a wedding tomorrow where they're trying to squeeze the Bachelor Party in tonight. Dumb. And that... Well, th it is dumb, but for these people, it's going to be fine because the, the best man came up to me and he was like confiding. He's like, dude... Everyone here is they're, they're pretty they're pretty tame. I don't know what I'm gonna do. We're going to Top Golf. I was like, it's really close to Rachel South, which in Orlando is the best one. Yeah, just get him over there. He's like, I'm gonna try, but I was tough. I'm like, you you're not doing your fucking job. You're the best man. You take him to Top Golf. You get him shredded up on the fourteen dollar drinks, and then you go the two miles down the street yep. to the finest one in Orlando where they wear they wear pasties and their bottoms. So you could like totally cop out. To anyone that cared and be like, they're not even naked. Yeah, they're yeah. not. But it's a nice not. club. It count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do I think a strip club, that, this is my roundabout way of saying, why do I think a strip club is, is a good part of a bachelor party? It's because it's the it's the spectacle. It's not that, I, I don't agree with like the, the there's people that'll be like, yeah, let's get a hooker and let's get somebody laid. Like, no. Yeah. Now you're getting people in fucking in life, trouble. Life yeah. trouble. This yeah. is, like, these are bad things. Those are things you see in the movies, but some people do it. Yeah, oh and no. And I think the strip club is such a, for and many people don't understand this. If you go to a good one, it's a very controlled environment, very yeah. controlled yeah. Mm -hmm. on purpose, so that they don't lose their liquor license and they don't lose all those things. So you go. They there have some and, of the biggest men that oh, work boy. there. Oh yeah. And if yeah. you're in a nice club, they like their jobs because they get tipped out for protecting the girls. Oh yeah, for sure. So I just feel like it could be a great part of it as the joke of like, oh look, you'll never see boobies again. We all know you will because of porn. <laughs> you, you know that's just what happens. That's how that goes. So it's, the, it's that nostalgia of, like, you're not going to have it, but you'll have it on your screen, but there it is in real life. And it's, that's also, that. it's also for the people that you're celebrating with. Correct. Like, yeah. for me, it was that. It was oh, like, yeah. let's all go. I remember one of my fondest memories is I'm, we're sitting around. This girl's just kind of lumbering on the stage. She's barely <laughs> she doing anything. Care. She didn't. She didn't. I get and so pissed when they she do goes, that. She goes, this is, normally, this is normally the part where you guys tip me. And my friend, my friend who is a staunch feminist, he is very much like, you know, he's very pro-women. He's very, very liberal. So she goes, this is the part where you tip me. And he goes, how about you fucking impress me? <laughs> <laughs> like, and for it to come out of his mouth, it was, it was mind-blowing. We were all like, ah! 
we ran around the place laughing. And my, I knew when my wife, when she, when we were getting married, my wife went to like the Thunder from Down Under. Yeah, thing. and I think they should. And I was like, I was like, absolutely go have a good time. And then at home, I'm rocking in the fetal position, going, <laughs> Why do they look like that? <laughs> well, like, these dudes have big old wieners, right? Yeah. And I, Mel, Mel's gonna be going to a bachelor party. I don't know what they're gonna do. And it's the same thing. Like I'm like, babe, I encourage it, right? Just do it where it's controlled. Yeah. And if you could go to a place where it's controlled, just don't squeeze it. Let it touch it. Don't squeeze it. Like if you squeeze it, I feel like you cheated on me. <laughs> if you just if it grazes you, then that happens. That like, just whatever. happened. That, that happens. But she put rules down for me that I think were reasonable years ago. We didn't That's, even do. We didn't do rules. It was just sort of like, uh, it's just, well, you know what I mean. Don't tell like, me. No, we you're told right. each other everything. No, I respect that. I respect Stupidly. That. But she was saying things like. I wouldn't appreciate at some point in our That's, relationship. Yeah. I wouldn't appreciate a lap dance anymore. But but yet she watched me get lap dances early on in our dating, and I watched yeah. her get lap dances. She she took her clothes off at Dollhouse here in Orlando. So that was a different thing. But like five years in, she said to me, "Well, you're going to these bachelor parties. I would just appreciate if you didn't get a lap dance." I said, "You know what? I can do that." Reasonable. You, I think uh, that's that, fair. This is reasonable. Yeah. I said, babe, my favorite thing is to sit at the rack. I call it, which is the 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 stage, and do the dollars that way. She's like, "I'm totally fine with that." I was like, well, we've met a real compromise here <laughs> because I can be as close Straight as I want. Compromise. I just need to not let them just do be, that. On you. No, be on you. Be on you. You can't have them be right. on you. Exactly. So yeah. when, when I was at a fantasy football draft two years ago and the girl, because I was sitting at the rack, she attempted to put her legs over my shoulders. I just kind of faded out, <laughs> did around like that. And she understood. I put a few more bucks down and it was like she got it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, again, this is a financial transaction for her. So she's <clears> not, if she's smart about her business, she's not going to push me. Right. Because then that could become a thing too. So I don't know. I, I like that it as a concept for a bachelor party. I think yeah. there should be some nudity. Yeah. Bachelorette at too. some point. I think well, there should be that just and for the I think, fun. I think what you what you touched on was great is that it is an experience and that for I was terrified. I'll tell you why I was terrified for mine. Because your scrotum was stepped on. Or? Well, no. <laughs> leading up to it, lead, leading up to it, guys, I didn't know what it was going to be because of the the trend that my friends started, right. which was oddities. Yeah, he had some strange shit. We had a two hundred three hundred fifty pound black stripper. Um, named Quiet Storm. She was you had a midgie, right? incredible. <laughs> she was one of the most entertaining people we've ever met. And, she, and her, I guess they call them handlers that yes. came beforehand. Like he was like, "Can I have one of these beers?" We're like, "Go for it." Yeah. He they stayed and watched basketball with us. Like it was <laughs> it was a great night. And we have stories from it. And she was such a good sport. She's like, "I know why they have me here. It's for the gimmick." And that she was cool. And it, the reason we did it was because my friend said, "I don't want to be aroused before my wedding. I want to be amazed." at what the human body can do. And then uh, as retaliation for uh, our other friend, he had a short person, a little person. Um, <laughs> and Midgey's it, not it, okay? <laughs> no, Midgey's fine. Midgey's I fine. said Midgey. Oh, well. Uh, that might be worse. But she was, it was worse. Off, well, she was worse because she was violent and she had <laughs> not a like riding whip or anything. She brought a whip with her, but it was a full on Indiana Jones Drew blood from the groom whip, oh. chasing him down a hallway in Las Vegas. What? It was it was wild. They take it to weird places. Sam's so, got some fucked up friends. So this was it's fucking Hollywood. Five six years right? ago, leading up to mine. You're I'm, so Hollywood. I'm telling. Shut yeah. up. I'm telling. I'm telling shut my up, wife man. all yeah. about this, and I'm like, honey, I don't know what they're gonna. They're gonna. It's gonna be New Orleans. They're gonna give me a voodoo priestess. I'm gonna come <laughs> back half dead. Like <laughs> under I'm gonna a have curse. a curse on. I'm my gonna have penis. a tail. And she was like, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. And Apparently, leading up to it, they were researching this, and they don't do it in New Orleans because they don't fuck with voodoo. They were like, no, we I don't like do that. that. Yeah. No places do that. So they found like two regular regular old run-of-the-mill strippers the who were fuck? awesome, but then they did a trivia round with them. And oh, they, God. And if I got an answer r uh, wrong, they pelted me with gummies. <laughs> which was just something they did and then the, gummy if, and the girl they gave the girls like impossible like stupidly easy questions they still got wrong and me impossible questions about philosophy which i got i got one out of three right i think uh, and it was tough because they were throwing shit at me and yelling at me um one of the girls tried to buy a vowel and it wasn't one of those. <laughs> See, and she didn't even say a vowel. Yeah, she said a number. <laughs> oh. Can I buy a vowel? T. <laughs> wow. What? Sam's group did the 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 private strippers and things yeah. like that. And I stopped doing that after my or really early on. It was the first kind of organized bachelor party I put together. I went that way, and I brought one to the house, and I knew, and she had a handler and everything. Yeah. And then Mikey threw up on her, and it created. <laughs> 
<laughs> it created such a bad taste. It also was on in my... In his mouth. In my mouth. <laughs> it was on my brand new couch that I just got that week. And she got thrown up on the, the <laughs> scream sorry. that she made. I just, again... Like these, the private one, I get the allure. Like, oh, they're coming in the hotel. It's going to be even crazier. I prefer the club. I prefer that controlled environment because things can get out of fucking hand. Yeah. And you don't have to clean yeah. up vomit. I can't breathe. You didn't know that? You knew that. I don't think I Mikey did. did this thing where. So, it, I can see him going. Like, I can see him doing the. No. <laughs> no, no one will. This will only be for the YouTube people because I, I pictured it. I saw it all in slow motion. Oh, I, God. It was you so always do. awful. He. Okay, this is my fault. <laughs> I want to start this like way. What a surprise. I want to start this way. What a surprise. At, well, the, the precursor, I can't believe you, I never told you this story. Oh, this is So the precursor great. to Mikey doing that is body shots. In, oh, in concept, no. a phenomenal thing. Yes. When they are laying down. Yeah. This young lady took it upon herself. She's a fucking visionary. She took the bottle of tequila and started from a standing position, pouring it down. She had an ample bosom, so it was running the, the valley and some, and they will not be named, individuals <laughs> were <laughs> accepting at the altar. <laughs> Yikes. It was, it was oh, coming man. off the, well, I guess what was the phrasing you used earlier? It was coming off the beignet. <laughs> it was coming off the beignet. And for like eight seconds, it was almost like a beautiful thing. We're all watching it in slow motion. And then the young lady starts screaming. Uh, it burns! It burns! <laughs> <laughs> she yeah. runs into the bathroom to presumably douche from the tequila vagina yes. that she has. Yeah. Uh -huh. 15 minutes later, we're drinking. She comes back out. She's dancing. She's ready because her hour's not up. And I That's, paid for uh, a fucking hour. Wait, it's hour. tequila. It's called a Rio Grande. <laughs> <laughs> so she, that, the burning is over, and now she's back into like doing it. Mikey has already positioned himself, and he looks like this on the edge of the couch. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, no. Yes. So I say to her, yes, give, that, give him a lap dance. Oh. And, and again, I paid for the hour, and we tipped a ton when that river of pain was happening. <laughs> yeah. So like, she's in a good mood in terms of like financially or whatever. Yeah. She goes over to him, and what I didn't see until I went around and looked at the video I was taking on my phone is she, she's like this. She gets on him and starts grinding, and he's going, and he's not moving his arms. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Just, just like this. No. <laughs> no. Because he knows what we don't know, that something's happening. <laughs> so, so he goes, it goes from like, no, no, to, what? All and she screams. Oh my god. Ah, she's screaming and he is attempting to collect it. <laughs> so he's got it like right here. It's all <laughs> You can't make this up. You can't do it. He's he's got it collected. We go into emergency mode. Two guys grab his feet, two guys grab his arms cuz she went to a different bathroom to clean up. Vomit everywhere. That party's over. <laughs> yeah, it's and we done now. Throw him oh, hold in the on. Tub. We still haven't played. We still haven't played Pin the Tail on the Donkey. <laughs> she left soon after. Yeah. What? No. But you paid for the hour. I didn't. I got. I got shafted about seven minutes. <laughs> I wanted the refund. We just left him in the shower. I. I couldn't get all of his pants off. I took out the valuables, the flip phone, because that's how long ago it was. Yeah. The the wallet, whatever. I was struggling with his belt. And I said, fuck it. And I, and I just turned the water on. And it just, oh. So he's in the, he's like this. <laughs> Poor Mike. Mike, oh if you God. see this or listen, I'm so sorry. He is, is, that, by the way, that is like the extent, that is the, uh, the rapport that we have. It is uh, apologizing for Craig's behavior. <laughs> what do you mean? It wasn't even his bachelor party. I did him right for his. I didn't that know. wasn't his. That, wasn't that was his? not his. He was a guest. Oh, okay. That was someone else's. Did, oh, he, did man. he black out? Did he? Does he remember that? Not. I mean, his. I just, his like, version like, of it will be phone video that he remembered. I had, I deleted that. He was uh, very. For you. He was very unpleased with that. With how that went. Everything's Plus, in the cloud her, now. Plus, her titties were in it. 
Oh, yeah. She was yeah. hitting him in the face with her titties. <laughs> and he's saying no, but you couldn't hear it because he's really groaning. And then, yeah. no, no, no. He's just making noises. And if I had heard it, maybe I would have been like, hey, lady, you should stop. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't, so I was like, harder! <laughs> go, harder. Put the nipple, go. God damn. Anyway, so, so that's so, why I don't do the private strippers anymore. That's why. Yeah, that is why. It's also it's also far more pricey. But I, I like a tell us about Nika. I'll tell coffee you about Nika coffee grain, grain whiskey. So it's, I'm not a fan. No, Ooh, no. He's, uh, that's it's fair. That's is it fair. called racist it's, when it's when it's, it's yep. no. No, they're not a race. It's, no, are it's, they? N- it's K sound. Nika. Nika. It's fine. It's not right. But no, what I'm saying is <laughs> Japanese is not a race. It's not like that word. That's Sam a nationality. Earlier. So you're nationalist. He could be, he could be xenophobic. That's what you are. Oh, you're definitely xenophobic. Okay. So what this is, this is whiskey that. that is done. The Japanese are doing this. The reason it's coffee, it's coffee They with take a y. all our stuff. <laughs> coffee with what? a Y. They're making <laughs> scotch. Coffee was the name of the uh, Scotsman who was distilling specific way. He made a specific kind of still. The Japanese, this Nika company, bought that kind of still, shipped it over from Scotland, um, and in homage to him, uh, make it that way. I happen to like this one. They also there's a bunch of other uh, Japanese whiskeys. I so saw you guys had Satori. Uh, uh, that's also very good. I think mm-hmm. just from knowing your drinking history, because I was a part of a lot of it. Yeah, you've been a part uh, a great deal of it. Actually. Right. I mean, you drank scotch, before I met you. Yeah, of course. No, it is. It yeah. is the profile of it. That's my, part of why you're not going to like it out of the gate. Is it is that, but also because it does have those more aggressive tones. Yeah. As soon as it comes into your mouth, it's saying, "Hey, man, I'm alcohol. Yeah, I'm gonna change your night." But how do you more, want this to go? <laughs> so it's sharp when you first have it. The it is. More you I like have a, it, it goes, I like a good scotch, it gets but not smoother and smoother and smoother. I guess I'll I was tell expecting what something else. Does not pair with is a public sheet cake, and I found that out. <laughs> oh, no. I what? found that out at my nephew's. Everyone knows that uh, second <laughs> second or third birthday party. Uh, that was that tasted like a clown did something. Yeah, in my that mouth. sounds awful. Yeah, we call that a clown bukkake. Yeah, um, but. Uh, no, this is good. I, I also there's one you're probably gonna hate. I'll tell you about it just so you Great. Can avoid wait. it. Just so you avoid it. It's it's lovely. It's a Scotch blend called Peat Monster. Oh uh, no, that it, sounds it, terrible. It's very good though. So is you it? you like a peaty Scotch? Do you like Lafrag? Uh, every now and then. I so yeah. I like I I yeah. like this. I don't like peaty Scotches. I like Peat Monster. It does taste like you're drinking dirt. Um, but if you that is a good for cocktails. They call it earthy. Yeah. The, yeah. the, the tone, like, so I bought a bottle of Lafray because I got a good deal at Costco thinking, I've had a lot of Balvini. Yeah, Balvini. A yeah. lot of um, McAllen. A lot of Glenlivet, even. Yeah. I love everything I had, had none of Lafray. And I've heard people talk about it. I thought, I'm like, I fuck it. I don't know. I know scotch. I, sure. I drink PD scotch. I think you do. And then I bought that bottle. Ended up spilling most of it out. I was so, like, offended. No, it's not bad. Don't get me wrong. They make a fine product. Because they're making what they're supposed to be making, mm-hmm. which is an incredibly peat, mossy, earthy, and every sip I'm fighting like the. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Wait. So, w- what is peaty? What does peat that mean? Peat is a peat's actually a moss. Yeah. Right. Oh. Okay. So, okay. You know, and and there's really no time in life where you should put it in your mouth. But if you've <laughs> smelled it, if you've smelled it, it's you, got that. You can taste it. Taste in the back of your mouth. Yep. Okay. You, um, the sense of smell powers your your taste buds. For sure. Yeah. yeah. So oh, for sure. Interestingly that's what that enough, is. Uh, Luke's in Winter Park. The uh, they oh, they uh, Luma and uh, is it Luma and Prado? Yeah. Then Luke's is their other one. So they they make a Scotch cocktail. I think using Peat Monster. That yeah, is amazing. when you smell it as it's coming to your nose. It smells like a campfire. That. Yeah, they, they're, but, they're very pungent odors. But when you right. taste it, when you taste it, it tastes nothing like that. It's incredible. It's one of the weirdest things. Uh, it's got more fruity tones, but, you know, it smells like a campfire. It smells legit like somebody just put out a campfire and it's all over your clothes. I'm a Balvenie like, McCallan guy now. I would be super interested in, in trying that. You, yeah. you, you it should seems try like something you like one glass is great. Yeah. And then after that, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's not Well, great. And that's my well, problem because I'm not a one glass guy. No. No. <laughs> I'm not either. Thanks, Well, Greg. I am a, I am a, I will not, try it to know I don't like it. Is why I'm yeah. I don't yeah. think so. I'm very I much that. I, I have to try everything. <laughs> I, well, that is my issue is I don't, there are certain cocktails or certain drinks or whatever yeah. that are great when you have one. Yeah. But for me, I'm not a one beer person either. Yeah. If I have one beer and it went well, or even if it went poorly, I'm usually going to put a <laughs> second one. I either want give it another one. Chance. I either want another one because it's good, or I want another one to forget the last one. Well, no, because right. I was oh, so I was. I had a meeting at Graffiti earlier this week on I think it was Wednesday or, yeah. two, or Thursday, and this is before I have to host an event. 
I'm very susceptible to major marketing. So it's why I bought Heineken today because that that uh, yeah. MLS player signed yeah. the ball. I wasn't going to buy Heineken today. It's why that bottle is etched because they have this marketing promos. So I'm at Graffiti and they're marketing the, the Bud Light Orange. And I've seen a ton of uh, ads for the Bud Light Lime, Orange, yet Lemonade. They're putting out a bunch of shit. Yeah, yeah, And I'm like, I cannot believe they're doing this right now. I have to try it finally. So I try it. It's pretty gross. But I, I finish figured. it because I, I respect yeah, it's, the process. It's, it's a beer. But I had to have a second one to get that taste out of my mouth. And then when I got to trivia, I had to have a drink there. <laughs> so you see, there's just like... You, there's you know. a linear progression. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's how no it is for, for me. That. I don't. I'm not going to like... I don't think I'm an alcoholic by that means. I know that sounded no. that way because I'm... I'm Typically, in much more that. control. Yeah, for much sure. more control. There's, I know there's a there's a set of days that Craig gets belligerently drunk, and yeah. he has those days, and it's only those like days. Four. It's yeah. like Cinco. It's Cinco. St. Patty's. Your birthday. My birthday. <laughs> and there's like one yeah. other one that kind of floats around. Yeah, the water. way you made that sound was like, it's oh, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. And, <laughs> <laughs> no, Those are it his is, four days. But honestly, the, it used to be. Remember the, what I used to do at yes, Graffiti Tuesdays I when I was there for the double? I, I would do. just, by the end of it, I'd be like, I guess Mel's got to come get me because I'm on fire. Well, that and, <laughs> and TGI Friday's days, too. You were, you were yeah. like, how many Long Islands can I drink tonight? Seven. <laughs> <laughs> but I like I like booze. That's why I'm here for the, the yeah. whiskey tasting. Yeah, one. yeah. That was, I mean, I'm just always of the mindset, I want to drink something I'm going to enjoy. Oh, sure. And it's, yeah. it's, that's not something that I, w- I could, like, sip and enjoy. It's Whereas, something weirdly, that, that like, is something I can sip and cap. enjoy. That is Wait, something the, like the Japanese, the one, one we just had. Yeah, that is something that I could honestly just have with ice or meat like this. Just sit and just have a couple of glasses of that and call it a night. Yeah, it's I'm, good. It's definitely good. It has a, a much lighter like profile to it. I don't know if it's something I'd want the, to sit for a long time. The mouthfeel is lighter. Yeah, because it's not yeah. sitting like the Clyde. It's not you as brought like this up caramely. Yeah, there's yeah. a thick, the viscous. Oh, right? yeah. mm-hmm. there's yeah. a viscosity to so it. You, and you can test that just by ser- seriously just going like this and seeing how long it takes to drip down the yep. side of your glass. They call it the legs. The legs. Um, yeah. The legs. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And so this one, uh, I love for that. It's it's very smooth. Um, I first had this. My brother gave this to me. And so one of the things you do on Passover is you get if you're truly religious in Judaism which you're not which I'm not uh, my brother's not really my brother my brother's family is so my brother observes a lot of the traditions and customs but he's way more Jewish than me yeah so what they do is they uh, what you do is for Passover you don't want any bread in the house so there's a tradition of sweeping out all the the bread all the crumbs and everything and that includes anything that's green and so my brother says to me our tradition is when I go over to his house we each have at least a glass and a half if not more of scotch or whatever before everyone gets there so it's like we're kind of cleansing the de- the, the demons from the oh, house sure you know or getting rid of the last bit of grain gotta cleanse and the so demons. he gave me this several years ago and we we did the um the sunny chiba thing from kill bill yeah the, very good <laughs> you know we were like really really into it it was awesome we saw kill bill in theaters yes we did just think you and i actually saw a lot of movies together a lot of great we saw the lord of the rings uh at least one and two we saw three no we saw the three? third Okay. No, we, we saw. All, I think we saw all three. I think so too, and I also think we saw Dark Knight. Uh, Either, no, I saw. I know who so? saw that with. Where I did know, you see that? I saw that not uh, at UCF. That was a summer. It was summer camp. Ah. I took, I took uh, some friends. Wait a minute. That. What year was Dark Knight? That was two thousand eight. Oh, I, yeah, I jumped. My bad. I jumped because we. Yeah, it would have been Lord of the Rings. But and I stuff did like take. That. Remember, remember our uh, mutual friend Nicole from <clears> uh, college. So good with faces and so bad with names. And I'll show. You, I'll remind you later. But anyways, I took her. To see uh, Batman Begins. Yeah, no, you're not right. a good, not a good uh, a movie to take a girl to if you're not me. a good date mm-hmm. movie. It was, it was no, a lot it's of, a good movie. A lot of this, a lot of. Ooh, <laughs> did you see that? I fucking nope. hate that. Wait, yeah. you not were doing that. Or she was then. doing that. But if I'm in a movie, don't what do that. that. You were doing that. Or I she was, was doing, doing that okay. to her. Okay, I was. I just want to paint the picture hard. in my head. <laughs> Horde. She didn't like it. She did not. She was not oralize him that night. She was super polite. She was like. It, I no, I saw it. <laughs> the he, screen he is does, big, he is and I'm here. Yeah. He's flying. <laughs> yeah, man, bam, my ears were way off on that. Uh, was, yeah, well. but we did go to the midnights of like Lord of the Rings. And no, stuff we went like to that. we went to a 10 a.m. We went to a 10 a.m. Uh, Return of the King. I believe it. Do you know why I know that? No, I don't. Because I snuck my iced coffee in. I used a line. I remember the line I used. We just walked. We kept walking, and they said, you can't bring that in here. And I said, no, it's okay. I'm with the group. 
<laughs> and they said, and they just said okay. Okay. And then we saw I don't remember this. We saw a like a total frat guy bro walking with purpose. Sam, we talked about that yes, earlier. Yes, yes. We saw a total frat guy bro with his his a uh, uh, collar popped, his spiky hair, but he was sitting really low with like a hat on, like he didn't want his anyone knowing that he was seeing Lord of the Rings. And he were going, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> In the darkened theater, you kept going, oh, I was such I a see you. dick in college. No, that high was school. funny. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. That's pretty funny. It was all right. It was all right. <laughs> I, just, I just can I can picture Craig just, I see you. Yeah, that's basically what it was. <laughs> that's basically what it was. We saw, no, we saw a ton of good movies. That was, that, that stretch of 2002 to 2006, a lot of good movies came out. Yeah. We also watched Snatch like 12 times <laughs> together. Oh my God. With the subtitles on, just on your DVD. just telling Mel, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I might even rewatch it tonight. It's a great I'm movie. I'm so, it was for a time my favorite film until Dark Knight. Dark Knight, yeah, yeah. Changed my life. But Snatch is so good and can be watched drunk. High, sober. Yeah. That's the trifecta right there. Yeah. It's all the ways you want it's your brain to all be. The ways. It's good if you're if you don't have a drink. It's better if you're a little fucked up. And then if you're high, it's a different movie. Yeah. It's a completely different yeah. film. Because of all the uh, guy Richie like whoo, like slow motion punches. You're like, is this really slow motion or did the D V D break? The, the, <laughs> he's, he's supposed to be uh, doing I believe it's in nineteen I wouldn't call it a sequel to Snatch. That's not what they're saying. But, like yeah. a, but he's a going back, the back cast. to the root. Well, not all of them. But he's going back to that type of film. Because he got he did Sherlock. He did yeah. King Arthur. Big, big, big stuff. He's going back to Lockstock and Snatch style yeah. for yeah. another film. Kinda and I'm heist, excited. Yeah, on, on, well, let ensemble. me tell you something. I know we're not. this is not a movie episode. But I fucking love this a heist This can be movie. A, yeah. whatever it's episode whatever. we want it to and be. And Ocean's happened. 8 was good. Was it? Really? It was good. Was it? I, I heard it's like it. Diet Ocean's 11, but that's still good. Yeah, but I almost think there's parts of it that were... It's not as good of a movie okay. as Ocean's Eleven for me, but I think some of that is I am in love with a few of the cast members in Ocean's Eleven. For sure. Whereas Ocean's Eight, I, I love... So Anne Hathaway's great. Oh, yeah. Sandra Bullock's great. Yeah. Kate Blanchett crushes. Even Rihanna was good. Like, people were good. Yeah. Donna Bottom Carter was good. The heist wasn't as complex as I wanted until it was. And that's the great yeah. part. That's, yeah. Everyone loves a good heist. Yes! It's good yeah. when you're well, in on it. Unlike Hurricane Heist... Which is just what is, is happening? Is that a movie? Are movie? you guys serious? You I don't know. Hurricane, Hurricane Heist, Heist was in theaters for a week. It was. <laughs> I don't know this film. It was uh, Maggie Grace and Toby Kebbell and I, I don't, don't know any. Of I don't know names. those names. I thought you, you were going to say Maggie Gyllenhaal and Toby, and Toby McGuire. McGuire. Yeah. And he said two. Yeah, this is a fake movie. This Maggie Sam made Grace. Up. Maggie Grace was the this is a porn. Uh, daughter Sam Lox, accidentally. The, no, she was the daughter in the uh, uh, Taken films. Oh, oh, okay. okay. I, I, like her Toby I like her face. I like her Toby Kebbell like was in a... You like her face? I like her face. Toby Kebbell was the... Um, she looks like a dumb was motherfucker. The, uh, she looks like he's a Brit. Touch. He was in one of the Guy Ritchies. He was in Rock and Rolla. He was the tattooed guy. See, and, and I like Rock and Rolla, but yeah. not as much as Lockstock yeah. and Snatch. He was also, he was also Koba, the uh, baboon in... Or not baboon, uh, Bonobo in... Planet of the Apes. Planet of the yep. Apes. <laughs> Which, uh, those are decent. Those are great. Those, those are, are really phenomenal. Good. They sorry, show Andy Circus, And I know he already well, got credit Matt for how so talented Matt he is. He's so going to be doing the Batman. Whole new level. What? Matt Reeves, the director he's from all the Planet of the Apes, he's rebooting Batman. Another reboot. Yeah, he's oh, got to really? be out. What? Yeah, Affleck's Who is out? in, though? Well, you didn't like, they that? Didn't say you didn't like Affleck? Okay. I can't, he didn't I like can't, Justice League. Affleck. I can't confirm oh, I didn't or like deny Justice. who's in that movie. Well, I didn't like Justice League. I have strong they haven't opinions said anybody yet. about. I can't confirm or deny who's in them. You know who Batman's <laughs> I don't. Be? I legit don't know. But, but that's you the thing. know no, something. Josh is tro but Josh has been trolling that he's Penguin in that movie. He's been trolling fans for like a year, and he won't tell <laughs> he, me. He really has been. He won't I'm, tell I me. Follow what? I'm, I'm so a diehard Batman him, guy, yeah. and he really has been. Like he's been doing he's stuff. He trolled other crap though. He trolled Daisy Ridley hard. She's so beautiful. What is he on right now? What's his next upcoming? He did Murder on the Orient Express. Uh, Artemis a, Fowl, right? Artemis Fowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Read I read those that. books when I was a kid. What is it's that? It's a, a book series, young adult book series. Uh, Kenneth Branagh is doing it. I'm in. Oh, Kenneth Branagh. Yeah. Love Kenneth Branagh. He was Branagh. in Murder too. Yep. yep. I actually like that. that movie. It didn't do as well as I was hoping, but it, no, I No, it was it. okay. It was tough because you kind of, going into that, you have to like that sort of you do. period movie piece. You do. Again, if you like a murder mystery or a heist, it's great. Yeah, you do. Well, There's not Solo for me was movies. a heist movie. Yeah, I, I, I enjoyed. I, I enjoyed. Still seen Solo. Oh, I liked it. I, I enjoyed. It. So if you go in me thinking too. of it as a heist movie, Didn't I enjoyed it. it very much. I liked it. I liked it better you than like Rogue it One. I was about to ask more or I liked less it better than Rogue, than Rogue One. One. Oh, you know what? I did like Rogue this. One. 
I like this really? a lot. This smells good. I'll tell you what. I, I wanted to love well, Rogue One because I wanted it. Just, the I last it. 30 minutes of Rogue One. That constant. I feel like we're like having six conversations. The, yeah. No, we fucked the, that up. Um, the... Um, <laughs> The last the thirty minutes the of Rogue One, where they're you know storming the beaches, that's what I wanted for the two hours. Mm-hmm. I wanted Saving Private Ryan in the Star Wars universe. Yeah, and it wasn't yeah, that. Sure. It was yeah, a yeah, lot. Do it. And the most compelling characters well, do were you... Donnie Yen and the. Uh... Oh my God, Sheru and Wei. Yeah, phenomenal. They were great. And, well, Donnie and they Yen's were good and everything. underutilized. Correct. Donnie Yen is incredible. Correct. Legend of Iron Monkey. No, it, it was. Man. I, it I, man, yeah. I. My the the only that's thing that's, good that that hangs Hit out Man's for me movie. in in Rogue One is that Vader scene in the hallway. That, that to me dope. made the movie. It was two seconds at the but end. But I loved it. <laughs> no, you know what I made the movie for because me because that it, it was cool. show, for me. It showed Vader how in, in the in the original yeah, in the original so trilogy cool. he's this feared whatever, and you never see yeah, him fucking fight. Good. You never see him fight. He fights Luke, and it's for twelve minutes. That's true. And it, whatever he's, you got it, to it's see the how formidable yeah. he is yeah. Oh, yeah. As, a, as a as but a I think person in, in the battle. old movies you're 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 saying that like you didn't get to see enough. Yeah, yeah. but that's part of it. Yeah. yeah, part of his lore was his you, reputation. He had already done did it. Yeah, yeah like Yoda. Yoda. Exactly. exactly. Well, yeah, I don't exactly need to like see that. Yoda flipping around the room, I, George. But then when I did, though, oh, I, I so kind of liked bad. it. No, I liked it. I was, was cool right. with it. it was I was cool not. It. I was cool with it. I was also like 10. It so. was. You know what it was for me? It was like whenever you saw a long shot of Kermit the Frog riding a bicycle, you're like, that <laughs> looks weird. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Piggy, look at me go. Legs are moving. It was like one of these things are not like the other. Yeah. <laughs> One of these things just doesn't belong. Oh, it's I, th- I feel like Rogue it's One, yeah. it had good scenes. The I think mo- it did the like movie Solo itself more. was a little. Yeah. I like Solo more for sure. I, still, but, uh, yeah. I, I liked so Rogue One's pumped. ending because it's not a traditional movie ending. No, very Everyone much so. dies. Which I appreciate it. But, well, Everyone goes. Spoiler. <laughs> well, well if on. you haven't seen Two it at years. this point. And it's on oh, Netflix. Oh, you haven't seen Solo. Right? Solo, I haven't seen yeah. Solo. Yeah. Yeah, that's been Solo. For... No, well, no, no. I, I there isn't when a huge he seen. spoiler but for also, Solo. You know he lives. I think that's yeah. also yeah. kind of the problem of making these movies that are set in the... So I have a, I, my friends and I have been talking about this recently. Well, we have a I'll beef tell you, with it, the Star Wars universe and that it is as it, it's not as expansive as Star Trek. Yeah. Where ever and the thing I liked about Last Jedi was that they approached not every story needs to be about the Skywalkers, the blowing yeah. up of the Death Star, the Rebel Alliance. It's like anybody can be president at the end of the movie, right? That little kid whoop, pulls the thing. Amazing. We could follow whoever we want now. And that's great. I think there's and that's what I'm hoping for with Solo. It's not all empire, and it's, I'm afraid of it. You're gonna um, not. You're gonna like the next. There's six movies coming. Yes. In Star Wars. Boba. Three by oh, the. That's right. Ryan three, Johnson. Three by Ryan Johnson yeah. and three by uh, Weiss and Benoit Weiss from and Benoit from, from Game, of, Game Thrones. of Thrones. Right. And what you're gonna like about those is they have at least Weiss Expanded and Benoit universe. said we're not doing right. the Skywalker saga. Yes. Okay. So they've said we are doing different. We're characters. doing our own stuff. So yeah. and I think that's when the expansion is gonna happen and. They may they may encounter some of what because Solo did, which is financial, not yeah. as much success. Inherently, what the problem is with Rogue One is that okay, we know, I know the ending happens. of this movie. I yeah, what I happens. know what happens. It's Titanic. It's okay. The right. Boat's gonna sink. Yet that yeah. did so well. So you know what I mean? Yeah, like it's yeah. tough because it, well, I'm, again, that's where you and I I go for the visceral experience. Yes, what am I feeling? Yes, and you're yes. going for ducats. How much did this thing make? <laughs> yeah, you know I like that metric. Of course you do. And I think that that metric is only grown in importance in, in how I agree. movies get funded. I don't think there will be a solo sequel just because I, it didn't do, do well. I agree. I don't and, think it'll happen. I don't think there would have been. Should there have been? I do. I do. But I don't think there'll be anything will get a sequel the way they, the way they set I, up, I think if anything, it would have become like a mini series. With Amelia Clark. I couldn't Clark, see it as another movie. Because Amelia Clark controlled that film the way that she did and the way that it ended with her. I think you. They absolutely set it up to do a sequel, and I don't think it will get it. I, I think financially, I think it'll it doesn't get make a, sense. It'll get a tie-in I, and an Obi Wan. Yeah, and well, I'm gonna see an Obi Wan. I don't easily. The finances, I mean, please. no doubt. The finances never interest me, which is I know weird. M- movies are kind of my life, and I, it, that's kind of what makes them makes another movie is whether or not it did well. Um, but you look at something like Justice League, and it's terrible. Well, and yet it made enough money. It's not all terrible. It is. Just it didn't, most it didn't make enough parts money were not terrible. No, there but it's it's within a terrible movie. It's it's like it's not a, a good movie. Legitimately it also terrible did movie. not make enough money. But it, it DC made is enough. super unhappy it about ma- it. Well, because the because the metric is now two billion dollars, which is a stupid number. Yeah, and that's Infinity what War it is. is They're nuts. like I know. So because that, of course, eight hundred million feels like a failure for DC because they're thinking 
well, I have the two of the three most popular superheroes on Earth. What, what is wrong? Well, Zack Snyder's what's wrong. Yes. You, you jettison him. You should let, God, I don't know her Joss name. Joss Whedon? No, no, no. Oh. Um, the one who did Wonder Woman. Patty pa- Jenkins. Patty. Oh, Patty, yeah, yeah. Maybe you give her a little more leash to do what she did. Because I, I, did you not like Wonder Woman? I did. I thought it was fine. Yeah. Fine. Did, not it was e- Captain America again. I mean, they really, but they did a lot of good stuff with it well, that was different. Is that just because really it's did. a period piece? No, kind of, I think no, it's because I think he's saying the story, which I get he's saying. But the you structure. Know what? Okay. A lot oh, of I've only seen movies, like half of the movie. Yeah, uh, that one, a lot so of superhero I'm, movies follow well, that same structure. But part of the Fish problem, out of water, you know. Mm-hmm. Part of the problem for DC is everything they do now, and we talked about this in the podcast. Looks like. They're doing the Marvel thing. Yeah, because they're yeah. trying to catch up. Be- yeah. And they never will. They they got to do they what just fired, Nolan uh, did. Oh, no, excuse me. Did they fire or did he quit? Jeff Johns, the uh, mm-hmm. he creative, quit. creative he officer. He down. He quit. They have to and do it Jim differently. now Jim Lee, the guy who I met at the uh, Florida Mall, got his signature on a Batman We just comic. met him. We just, we just met, met him. him. Did you yeah. really? Where at? WonderCon? Megacon. Megacon? Megacon? Yeah. That's awesome. He's, 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 j- he's involved? He's now Jeff Johns' job. He's stepping up. At, at Marvel Studios or for the movie? Or, or DC. DC. Yeah, yeah. DC. Uh, DC, I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure for the studios. Yeah. Really? I'm, I'm actually fine with that because he draws hashtag my Batman. Hashtag my <laughs> He Superman. does draw my Batman. He, because other artists don't draw my mental picture of... Yeah. Jim Lee draws my mental picture well, of he so also, many heroes. He also created the blue and gold X-Men. He created... Yes, he did. Uh, his Wolverine is my Wolverine. Yeah. And I mean, then Hugh Jackman is my Wolverine for the movies. And yeah. You love his lino. I mean, that's just so good. But he doesn't do enough of that content. He doesn't do enough of that. He doesn't. He doesn't. I'll be interested to see the the turn they take because the, with this Matt Reeves, they're going to have to reboot the whole universe, basically. I'm So what to. I am fascinated by, I was thinking about this last night, oddly enough. What I am fascinated by is is this idea that franchises need to universe. It's yeah. it's amazing. Since Marvel did it well, they knew how they were going to do it, but now everyone feels they need to do it. And now they they go so far as to announce the movies they're going to make. I know it's bad. They cast the people, and then you get a situation like Universal's Dark Universe. I was about to say, the dark, the I knew you were getting there, right? Yeah. They, the had, they had a logo. They I watched Mummy last night for some reason. I was I bored. I was bored. I was I like, that. Was, I like was, that actress. It was as bad She's as... She's great. I like that actress. She's from the Algiers. Huh? Was it as bad as I think it was? Oh, yeah. No. No, because his expectations are real bad. Oh, I don't know. Where you're oh, my expectations are flaming bag of shit. Oh, no, it's better than that. It was. And if you have three to six drinks, <laughs> it's better. You know what? I'll say this. I'll say this. Jake Johnson's in it, and he's funny. I love Jake Johnson. He's great. He's yeah. great. He's Nick Miller. He's, exactly. But what's weird is that Tom Cruise's character's name is Nick, so he's yelling Nick, and it's really odd. It's real. It feels weird. I, don't like that. I didn't hate it because the thing I've I've grown a skill, and and so maybe didn't we see Matrix movies together? Oh yeah, that, so that's what it was. I went to the wrong trilogy because ninety nine to oh one. That's when we, yeah, yeah. Well, no, it would have been the second we and third the, one. The second and third, yeah. right? So the third was like just so disappointing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I had hyped it, and I went into it thinking and saying to my friends, and you may or may not remember, I'm like, this is going to be the greatest. Movie you love Keanu? We've though. ever seen. I do, I do. But but you love Keanu? But no, that, but he's having a renaissance. That dude oh, he is John Wick. John Wick. John Wick. One is of the incredible. best action movies. Yeah. You got me into John Wick. You got me into. I told my wife. I told my wife. I said you need to watch John Wick. It's very. I said you need to watch this movie. "Mm." We're going to start it after they kill his dog, so you don't have to see that. And she said, "I already feel his pain. I am with him a hundred percent." Yes, you are. (laughs) Yes, you are. He you, he is a goddamn murderer, and you are for him the whole time. Yeah, yeah. And I really want to see that series they're gonna they're developing well, about the hotel. It also oh, helps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, like yeah. a mini series? Yeah, correct. Showtime's, oh, doing, Showtime's doing it. Showtime's doing it, and he said he'll float in and out. That's yeah. Awesome. What? He, yeah. I might subscribe to Showtime. Yeah. For that, you need to watch Ray Donovan. I fucking love I that. Show. All right, all right. But so back to. Back to the, the so the universe. I don't thing. think. I don't think. Oh, yeah. oh, we are all so the, over the place. We are all over the place. Yeah, don't even are. listen to this. We're That's what these are for. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> you shut Folks, your mouth. Are you, are you listening? By the way, have you guys been listening um, to the Junk Drawer podcast? Well, I listen to them. Can you get? Can you can subscribe uh, to it if you're listening to it right now? <laughs> yeah. Do are you that. trying to do a plug for us for or? a live? For, how does that work? <laughs> I feel like people should be people, listening. We to me. should live do it. Uh, we, computers we could are not strong one. enough. No, your Facebook. You could live oh, Facebook. Like, well, no, you could set it up, but that's for future. Yeah, that's something we're working on. Our, so my laptop is, is getting old. Yeah, but you'd get a few yeah. people watching, and then you could do interaction. He's mm-hmm. going to talk about the shitty Dark Universe. Oh, I don't have to. No, you, you brought up a good point there, is that they're they're late to the game. They missed Everybody the is. Everybody a day, is. A day, a day Isn't Transformers sure. starting to do that as well? Yeah, I mean, they're making Bumblebee? their solo Bumblebee movie. They're still making money, though. They are. They're still making money. 
It wasn't good. Anthony Hopkins was in the last one. I was bummed out about that. I couldn't believe and even, they got and him. Even no, Star Trek, they give him the money. And even Star Trek, in in, in, a, in a weird way, they with their reboot, they're able to do new uh, Star Trek. Oh, movies. that same girl was in that from the yes, Mummy. Yes, she was. She was in she Beyond. Was. Yeah, she was in Beyond. But what they're they're but able to do, do well. multiple directors, multiple crews, multiple stories. I like that. I also think that, you know, but even Star Wars, these established franchises, like, we got to go bigger. Right. We have to. Because the budgets Marvel, are getting out of control. Yeah. And it's hurting the, the end product occasionally. You know who it's not hurting? The Game of Thrones of the world. The Westworlds of the world. Yeah. The, the eventual Lord of the Rings of the world. Well, I was, they have those big budgets. I was bring that up. Did you, do you, you heard about this. The billion dollars right. that they're so, committing to five Do you know who seasons. put a billion in? You, you heard Amazon. about this? Amazon. 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 Oh, yeah. Put, we were, yeah, we're, we're talking about billion it. bucks yeah. into five seasons of Lord of the Rings. 250 million to purchase, 750 Just for five seasons. So excited. Because now we're going to get visuals that match Peter Jackson's visuals. Yes. Is he his, involved? He, he is, is a producer at minimum. Creatively, right? Creatively involved. I don't think he's going to direct a goddamn thing. Producer at minimum is what, but what I'm saying I've, is like, I've read. Think of those movies, those three movies. Don't. Yeah. I'm not going to talk about The Hobbit 3. So mm. th- and I'm not so even good. against... I'm just saying, let's talk about The, the Lord of the Rings. Well, fine. no, I'm talking about The yeah, Lord of the Rings. The original fine. trilogy. The original trilogy, fine. even Return of the King years ago, is one of my favorite films. Still visually stunning. Oh, it's incredible. They. So what I'm saying is they Amazon's putting enough money in where I think we're going to get to see more of that quality whereas occasionally mm-hmm. now you'll get stuff where the visuals aren't on par let me use justice league justice as an league batman versus superman mel brought must- this up the, the mustache. fucking mustache, the mustache man and this just tells you what oh, henry yeah. cavill cares about and boy am i excited to see fallout because he looks oh, yeah. fallout fallout is the, the new mission, mission impossible, impossible yeah. which oh that's right okay. indirectly ruined part of justice league oh because his he was contract in that. with uh, with Mission Impossible stated he couldn't shave his mustache, so they had to digitally alter it. So my wife watched the movie and couldn't was so distracted by his mouth. Baby I mouth. was, yeah, I was too busy looking at his pecs. But anyway, I love Henry Cavill, and in the Fallout previews, when he does that, that weird, bathroom scene, it's yeah. weird, but I oh, love yeah. it. He does the Superman it's, punch. I feel it. He jumps up it's and does intense. the Superman. Well, that's punch. because they do a great sound editing. Mm-hmm. Like the, if you go deep in the movies of what makes a scene, right? It isn't just the actors, and they it's admit the that. Yeah, it's everything. Yeah. It's the editing. It's the direction. It's what what angles are they using? And in that preview, I'm like, I feel his power yeah. in the punch you feel he's like, Yeah, because they have the bass drum kick. Yes. You feel like he's about to break he's also through his own shirt somehow. I know. It's like, <laughs> he's <laughs> also just a massive, like, a guy, this width. I love his is, front. Is gross. Yeah. If I could be that, great. I don't even think I would do well with it. Oh, I could. I don't, I don't know what to do with it yeah. if I have it. He's got so much. He's, but, he's your Superman, though. He he looks like your, so your style. Equate, That's correct. Superman. I agree sure. is a Never difference did. between mm-hmm. I think Disney is the reason Marvel movies do well and that's and here's why. Pixar, I'm using Pixar now as an okay. example. They don't cast you know huge A-list stars for their voice cast. Sometimes they do. Sometimes, but rarely. They go Greg B. T. Nelson. Moana. I was going to say they go B. They get Moana. Ed uh, Asner was the lead of well, Pixar, right? I well, but the girl, Moana. No. But they've done but that's, her name. But that's they've not done Pixar. that for decades. That's Disney. That's, Disney didn't Pixar do. I'm talking. I'm talking solely Pixar. Uh, hear me out on this. It's the difference between Marvel and DC. It's under Disney's guidance. Yes. Marvel I'll push back on Toy Marvel, Story, which is their first, and they got Tom fucking Hanks. Sure, absolutely. No, and 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 uh, Tim Allen. And Tim Allen. Was and at, at that time, yeah, it was bigger that day. And Toy Story was their launch. Absolutely. No. Oh, so that right. is that is a that is an exception. And even John Goodman and Billy Crystal, I would argue, are pretty a list. Oh, but I mean, yeah, where yeah. they spend their when where they spend their money are then on. Story. 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 And it's why they'll always do well. And, mm-hmm. you know, they're they're constantly working on their rendering engines and making things look great. Then you go over to the DreamWorks mm-hmm. animation. They'll get Angelina Jolie, Jack Black, you know, everybody they can. They'll cry. The- right. Angelina yeah. Jolie is being paid $15 million for that movie, and she says, like, 10 words in Kung Fu Panda. Mm-hmm. Right? So go back down to Marvel those and DC. did well. Yeah, well, they do. I see what you're saying. So they were good movies, too. But it's it's a misallocation. It's yeah. a misallocation of funds because then you when you look at DC, their graphics look like cutscene footage from a video oh, game. Oh, it's yes, bad. They do. At yes, best. they do. I but remember, they're paying yeah. Ben Affleck an god, god, so, ungodly amount of money. You're right. I, I remember seeing Batman versus Superman. I was more excited for this movie than I could put into words. Yeah, because this was, that was everything. Your first mistake. 
Yes. Yeah. This, well, that goes well, back to what I was trying to say earlier. If you can lower your expectations, a lot of movies are much better. Absolutely. I assume yes. everything's going to suck, and yeah. it makes movie going yeah. great. Yeah. yeah. So Movie, movie Pass, pass help. also helps. Oh, Movie, movie Pass yeah. <laughs> helps. Still haven't gotten one. <sighs> do it, dude. Dude, yeah. please. I do. open the app now. They now. Do, now they do Family Pass. There's nothing do I can go yeah. see. Do We're already really? maxed out on everything. Wait, maxed out? Yeah, because you can only see not maxed out. Meaning, like, literally this this week we usually go to movies on Mondays and Tuesdays. We flipped it open, and we were like, "There's only two we could go see," because they only let you go to once. You can only go to a movie one time. Oh, really? Movie pass. Yes. Is that new? I didn't know that. Um, that's in the last two months. Oh, okay. I know at one point they were only letting you see four movies a month. Right, and any that fool that like paid weeks. that and got that, it they're stupid because the unlimited is the way. Oh yeah. But it's I've back, already seen. I bought it three months ago, and I've seen fifteen movies. Mm-hmm. So I already paid for my year. And I'm. It's that funny thing. I open the app and I'm like, yeah, I guess I could see Hotel Artemis if I want. That yeah. does sound good. I want to see that. movie. I also want to see that movie. It, I like. It's, Drew it's a very Pierce. John Wickian kind of thing. Yeah. Dave Batista. But um, so I went and saw um, Batman vs Superman, and I was super excited, especially after the first trailer that aired at Comic Con. I was like, oh, this first cut is on point. And then I went and saw the movie. And after uh, Doomsday and Superman launch into the stratosphere, into space, and he's floating towards the sun. Pat, that movie sucks. It was awful. But he's yeah. floating towards the sun. And and the computer-generated image of Henry Cavill opens his eyes and flies back to Earth. I went, oh, my God, this is a dumpster fire. I mean, I'll it support. Was, I'll make an argument for the three-hour director cut. It was it better. it explains more. It was better. But that's a piece of no. shit. Nah, G. <laughs> I saw Man of Steel and I knew. I'm like, this that next oh, movie is like, gonna be bad. I, I enjoyed bad. Man of Steel. No. Man of Steel's not as bad. Oh yes, it is. When you have when he when Superman executes somebody. I know. Yeah, but he was gonna kill innocent people. You fly him into space. That's what he always that's what he does. does. Yeah, that's kind He's, of his. That's you're that's not breaking wrong. his character. I had a problem with that. Do you remember? Like, but Henry Cavill. When when. Hashtag Metropolis Superman. being destroyed and he reminds want it. me of no. 9-11. He doesn't want it. I, I, that is not a Superman movie. No, and they I, did something it bad. happened around 2001. Zack fucking Snyder. No, Zach even Snyder. before that. He's not good. Your beloved Dark Knight, as much as I love it too, created the Why So Serious Age of Movie Making. Well, absolutely. Everything well, has to be it created the, gritty. It created the DC version of Why So Serious Filmmaking. Marvel yeah. never went that route. Marvel. Well, what, what, what is Why yeah, So yeah. Serious with, Filmmaking? It's, it's just, just what the gritty, fuck does that mean? gritty, real. Gritty for the sake of for the gritty. Sake of gritty. Realism, yeah. Oh, but when you're first, it's not for the sake of it. You did it first. Yeah. yeah. Just so, of course, so Dark Knight does it right. Gritty. And then, because well, I thought you were saying it like there's so a why even, so serious film. As much as I love Dark Knight, it's like it's bleak, and there's no like you don't feel hope at the end of it. I know, nope. I and like it's it. tough to enjoy. What I when, would disagree hold with. Hold on, that. hold on, hold on. When I let me let me rephrase that. I enjoy it as a movie. I love. You why. need the happy but, ending. I do not. But no, I don't need a happy ending. But at the, it's, I feel like sometimes like I have to like. Uh, all right, I'm gonna watch Dark Knight. Like I have to. <laughs> ramp it's a, it's up an to experience. That. You know, know what I mean? Because I know what like, you mean. It yeah, can be yeah. exhausting. It's like watching. Like you're not gonna go watch like The Room for fun. But it's an enjoy. You know, it's a good movie. You're not gonna go I have watch. Only watch that one. It's like you a, know, it's like don't Black go Mirror. back to that. Well, yeah, Black Mirror is like a very intense it's, experience. Black Mirror is gr- is great, but you're not gonna be like, oh boy, that was a fun <laughs> one, right? But like Dark Knight's not a movie I feel like jazzed up at the I end. Guess of. you're right. I get what you're I mean, saying. So, yeah. to but, an extent, and, so, but it is phenomenal. If it's on, I'm like, I'm gonna fucking run. Yeah, and oh, I can watch. That's my I can next watch three a hours. Scene. I can watch a scene and be like, that was great, right? If it was just on TBS or something, I'd be like, that was great. Yeah, it's phenomenal. It's great, but. Um, it launched in the same way that like Friends made like launched sitcoms in the post Friends era. Yeah, yeah. yeah, everything is now like trying to be friends, hanging out. Hey, we're right, cool and young. Right. Now everything is like, dude, it's got to be street level. He's got to cut people. You know, Doomsday's got to kill like a yeah. million people in the first act. I see like, what, what you're what saying. What are we doing? Why can't like that's why Avengers, first Avengers, man. When okay, they're on the ship. They're on the A wing. Or mm-hmm. the, uh, yeah, they're on the, uh... The helicarrier. The, not the helicarrier, they're on the, uh... The thing. The huh. one, the, the Avenger... The, the yeah, Avenger mobile. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember the... I was gonna fucking say that, I'm like... <laughs> I said A-Wing, that's Star Wars. It's the, um... Uh... I know damn it. You know, they're little transports. But anyways, it's Captain America and Iron Man, they're flying back, they're talking, and all of a sudden Thor lands on the ship. Yeah. And Cat kidnaps Loki. I was, I was weeping because it was like, I did this with my toys growing up. This is what I grew up with. And then the last, you know, 
hour of the movie is panels, is 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 like it, a big no, two page spread you're right. of comics. They did a great job. Marvel so does a good was, job. And so was Infinity War. Bring the comic. Infinity in. War. Mm-hmm. Everybody got a moment. Dark Knight's not a comic book movie. No, no, no it's not. No, it's a movie based on a comic. book. Dark right. Knight is like if Michael Mann got a hold of Batman. Yeah, but Dark Knight is like, like if Heat existed in the DC universe. God, yeah, like you know it is. It is like Heat. <laughs> it's a it's a it is. Movie. It is like that Fuck, though. Like I like a heist movie. We're and and, and I mean, that's it starts why out like a heist movie. It is kind of a heist. It movie. is kind of a heist. Movie. It is. It is totally that. Multiple got, heists within it. I got really pissed off um, when they said they were going to make Gotham. Uh, because I uh, wanted, I wanted a show that I've, was. I've never seen it. It's, it's bad, terrible. Don't watch is it. it bad? It's really? really? It's awful. I haven't seen it. I thought it was. What awful. they're trying to do is they're trying. People to... told me it was worth it, and no. thank God I didn't waste my time. Yeah, they're trying to make, and I watched an episode or two, and I was like, "This is terrible." I watched the entire first season. They try, and correct me if I'm wrong here, because I didn't really watch a lot of it. But they're trying to make a gritty villain universe in DC, but Absolutely. it's on basic cable, and yes. they have to no, water it down. No, it's on Fox. Yeah. It's yeah. not even basic cable. Yeah. So it's bad. network. It's what bad. I was hoping for, I wanted an NYPD style cop mm. procedural. Give me, the, give me wire, the wire, yeah. But in the DC universe, and like you hear about Batman. Well, that's Punisher. They tried to do that that's with uh, Punisher, Punisher or Bright. That's, some level, on some yeah. level. They tried to do that with Bright too, and that kind of fell flat. Oh, Bright was awful. Yeah, like I, mean, I I'm glad I didn't pay for it. it yeah, awful. It was awful if you paid for it. I d- and I didn't. No, but, but they, I can't. Yeah. So I have a hard time. And Daredevil, by the way, Daredevil also fantastic. Definitely. Oh love yeah, yeah. I have yeah. a hard time pulling out the, the didn't pacing pay for. on those Netflix shows. I, is really? Bad, yeah, because yeah. because of like a movie pass or a Netflix monthly subscription, I have an issue with now doing what I used to do, which is if I went to a movie and it was I used to, I think I told you this on the episode four, or whatever I was on with the junk drawer. Yeah. Like if it's a fifty dollar experience to the movies, which is what it used to be. Yeah. Me, Mel, snacks. Now it's a nine dollar thing right and it's like you could be a bad movie and i'm leaving with a smile and you know yeah, i yeah. wish i th- and that's a very good point because if i was going to see batman superman and it was i, I saw it at home it was harmless to see it at home that's the difference yeah. yeah so bright to me because it came in my netflix feed mel's asleep i'm watching i'm like <laughs> i like will smith I like, you, know, you know what i mean like why did you become our sophomore roommate <laughs> Because it's, oh, it's pablum God. at that point. It's candy. Yeah. And I could eat that candy just like I'll keep right. watching shit that Adam Sandler puts out on Netflix and I'll defend it. Yeah. I'll defend I it. I won't as, defend it, but I'll watch it. I, I watch everything. I'm with, I'm with you. I'll defend it because it's, defend it's not it is, terrible. Well, no. And, and Magnificent Seven or not. It wasn't called Magni- that. The, the s- Idiot Seven. Six, whatever. Ridiculous Six. Ridiculous six, yeah. Whatever he did. That was a really bad movie. That was bad. But. What I'll defend is Adam Sandler made a good financial decision for Adam Sandler yeah. for Happy Madison Productions. He's employing all of his fucking friends. Do you know that He's was created in 1999? Happy Madison? Yeah. Uh, yeah? That was a trivia question last night. Was it? That, that <laughs> was given to me. Tiebreaker? But yeah. <laughs> it was a tiebreaker. All I'm saying is like Netflix and MoviePass and the future of how we digest content are going to make the stakes for buy-in lower. And that is a good thing for the content creators mm-hmm. because – the content creators actually have a tough fucking job. We know this. You are currently being content yeah. creators. It is not And easy. we're sorry for how tough we're making it right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no... This is so fucking disjointed. No one's going to listen no, to this. No, it's perfect. You bring us whiskey, we're happy. Yeah, that's really what we're this We're simple was. people. That's all this is. We bought you out. But the, the idea that I could turn on Netflix at any point and turn on a Sandler movie or Bright or see some of the biggest stars ever paying the same $13 a month Mm-hmm. That has changed the entire Absolutely. entertainment landscape, Absolutely. and that's why I I get like, and I love that I digest yeah, so I much too. content. My wife laughs at me. She's like, "Why are you watching another bad horror movie?" I'm like, "It's available. It's available. It's yeah. out there." That's the difference. And now. I also I study it academically. Like, all right, what are people watching? That, why do and, people? And I think what it does is it it lets yeah. the people who are who are more entrepreneurial in their like sure ventures you get you get like little things that are good in a shitty movie, but those little things can then grow. Into yeah, a, I would agree a, to that. A larger I started aspect. Wild Wild Country last night. I haven't yet. And I, I heard don't it's good. know. I, what it, is that? Okay, so Netflix is all. Netflix is Netflix obviously makes taking over everything. Yeah. So documentary. Yeah. They just passed uh, Disney in their in in, content for creation? stock value. No, in their yeah, in their like, oh wow, their oh it's insane, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Netflix. I now, how dumb boat. was Blockbuster for not paying fifty mil for them yeah. in right? two thousand and two yeah. or some Real shit? Well, they were bad. So oh right, they are now the. Literally, the pushing the envelope of how to create content, mm-hmm. and, and I Amazon's had, catching up. And I they're had the Netflix bigger company. When we, oh, I think, uh, 
when we were in college, I definitely had Well, yeah, had the, it. the discs the to discs, the home. I had yeah. that. There was no streaming then. They still do that, too. They do, but I, I think it's only know. if you're 65 and up. I don't oh, even think you can get it. That makes sense. I think they say, oh, you just, you can't. I know someone. <laughs> <laughs> Your blood's too thin. No. Yeah. No. We're not going to send that to you because you're supposed <laughs> to have you, the internet. Do you remember the Lindy Hop? <laughs> you don't. Well, you need to get a streaming. <laughs> what? I'm a big convert, a though. Because you knew me when I was anti-Hulu, anti-Netflix. I said, this is stupid. Really? I'm a DVR oh, no. guy. No. I'm a DVR guy. I'm going to subscribe to Bright House. This is just a few years ago. Yeah. No. About four years ago. I was going to say was four. Still, that, was, that was when we, we cut the cord. I was we, still uh, shitting on Netflix. I'm yeah. saying, this is stupid. No one's going to want to do content this way. And I would say that to anyone who wanted to listen to me, and they'd obviously be like, you're dumb. And now I'll be like, wow, <laughs> that was such a stupid opinion. But I wasn't the only one with it. No. Because there's still people that don't see that the future dad, of content is this. My dad is is all my dad's a, my dad's always been the guy like we, we wouldn't buy a DVD player. We wouldn't buy a CD player until you could record on them. We right. were like the holdout family. And then when you could get a burner, we were the first <laughs> we were the first family with a burner because everyone was like, "Oh, we just bought a CD player. Why would we get another?" Let me burn one? it. Let me yep. burn it. Right? So my dad refuses. He's got a he's got a Blu-ray player that has like the apps on it, and he's got a uh, Amazon Fire Stick. But he still pays for AT and T. Let him because I get HBO, Showtime, and all those <laughs> things because of that. Yep. But I told him like, Dad, just pay for those for those apps. I'll split it with you. And he's like, I don't. I gotta watch my TV. I gotta watch my news. And I'm like, I'll get you an Apple TV. So he got an Apple TV. He couldn't handle the remote. He returned it nope. that day. Couldn't deal with it. That day? Mm-hmm. Amazon Fire oh, TV wow. is good. Yeah. Because it's fast. I had an is Amazon it? Fire Stick yeah, that's for 35. Have. Slow. They just came out with the, the box. It's like a 4K version of that. Well, mine's a box, but it's not 4K. Because no, my it's, TV's it's not 4K. The stick, right? The stick is slow. The stick's interface is slow. Meaning you hit home, it's like, bloop, 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 then uh-huh. it loads. I bought the $85 Fire TV. Mm-hmm. I even bought the booster. I've not plugged it in yet because the speed is so great. I don't even have to plug it into the modem. It really does. It does amaze me within. So, again, you and I have known each other for now going on, like, what? It's almost 15 years? Yeah. Yeah. And um, it's amazing to see the leap in in technology in those 15 years. I <laughs> it, mean, it makes me feel old knowing that I, I'm not old in the in the sense of what we now think old is, right? Right. That's probably at what we would say is old would be probably in the 60s or 70s, whereas maybe you feel 50s could be old. I would say uh, late maybe. 50s, early 60s. Right, and that's yeah. going to change. Five years from now, you're going to push it just like yeah. we do. Yeah. Because when I was 20, I'm like, God, 50 is fucking old. And now I see Julia I Roberts, friends, and I can I still get hard from 50s. Julia Roberts. <laughs> She's 50? She's 50. What? Sandra Bullock's 53. What? She's Goldie so Hawn. Bullock, is Bullock's not aging as well. Julia Roberts is aging really I mentioned Goldie Hawn. I don't think anyone anyone. Goldie Hawn is like dog shit. (laughs) But you know who doesn't? And you'll maybe you'll get it because it might have been in trivia recently. But let's throw this out there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Jane Fonda just put a movie out with Diane Keaton, Candace Bergen, yeah, and uh, Mary Steenberger. Yeah. The Book Club. I didn't see it. I'm not going to. And let. Well, I might actually. Mary Steenberger is still married to Ted Danson. Ted Danson, and she's she's probably like a hot looking older woman. She's 65. How old do you think Jane Fonda is? Jane Fonda, I'm gonna guess is 75 years old. 77. Okay, you changed it. I have no reference. To you do not know who that is. I, I know. I know the name. She but comes I from a Hollywood royalty. I'm gonna say seventy three. She's eighty. What? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say eighty. <laughs> She's eighty fucking years old. <laughs> That's a great bit. Just she... say it after it's already said. That's amazing. I'm stealing that if you don't mind. Oh, go for That's it. That's incredible. <laughs> I'm gonna say. And you 80. say it after the fact. I'm just. I'm gonna say it. <laughs> That's great. But if you look gonna at her, go out on my limb here. She looks younger than the than Keaton and she looks Bergen. Great. Yeah, not as young as Steen Bergen. She, she looks. What, I can never say her Mary fucking Steen name. Mary Steen Bergen. Steen Bergen. That she's the best looking of them in terms of like age. But Jane Fonda does not look eighty and has admitted to having work done or whatever. Well, no, but for like sure. I always I guessed, feel like eighty is ancient. Yes. Yeah. Just, I guessed seventy seven because I remember her riding. Well, I don't remember. I wasn't alive, but she rode the tank around Vietnam. So mm-hmm. that was. It was change. 68 to 73, so, yeah. Anywho. Um, hey, you know I haven't heard from in a while? Andy McDowell. Remember her from the 90s? Was she the one that, that did the... Um, Groundhog Day. Uh, mm. Okay. Oh, she yeah. did not have a TV show. Nah, I don't think so. I fucking mushed her with the actress from Judging Amy. They do not look the same. No. <laughs> <laughs> but the name Amy is common. But Amy do you know who is I follow? You know who I follow is on it? Instagram? That's, it's, that is a... Uh, 
Still working, still doing Imminent great. name drop. <laughs> <laughs> I follow on Instagram because you follow everybody on Instagram. That's the yeah, thing that's you do. True. But uh, Leia I Thompson don't. from Back to the Future is, is directing a lot, and oh. she's writing a lot. She's, cre- she's creating a lot of content. She's Caroline still, in the City. Yes. She's still phenomenal looking. She's got to be is 60. She? Got to mm. be. Right? No? Back to the Future is 85. Back to the Future is 85, and she was what? A, she was she, a teenager. No. Oh, I, yeah. Just, I would have, she I was younger than Michael 20. J. Fox? She I may was, have been 20. She may have been 20. Okay, well, that makes her, okay, 53. In Red Dawn, she looked like a kid. Well, we can fucking... We do have just, the internet. Right? We're just, and then let's talk about uh, this Yankee bottle. Oh, yeah, we oh, skipped yeah. over. We started yeah, drinking Woodford, Woodford Reserve. Which it's, I didn't it's good. I like it we go. a lot. Do you like it? I and do you, like Woodford? it. Woodford? Yeah. Josh, you've never like had it. it either? No, I've, I've had it once before. Okay. I don't know if it was from you. Probably have you not. brought it it's before? Got a, might have. No, he, I don't think he's brought Woodford. Strong start. But it's... Really? Yeah, strong start. I got the hiccups. 57. I was close. You were. You were. I was you did close. Say, you said, I said 60, 60, but... That's pretty close. And 60, close. 60 is my, like, starting of it old now. Yeah. And I don't... I don't, I don't I don't know. I think age is ridiculous to say when somebody's old. Because if you're, I think if you're working, I think if you are, I think age is a mindset. This, it really is a mindset. Well, right? I was also just, I took a big break. But I think age, yeah, age is totally a mindset. And I think, I think that, um, like when you think of somebody like, I don't know, Morgan Freeman's what in his eighties? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He's young at heart, man. No, but I look at him and I see a dead person. I see, like, you <laughs> he are, look, he does look. You are older. going. He, he to some die. people, he some people rough. obviously age catches up with them, but <laughs> yeah, but he never looked young. That's true. Samuel yeah. Jackson's got to be in his seventies. Would you say he's old? No, because I think you're there right. There you go. Yeah, and I, I he, he might be seventy-one. Have but, you seen him in uh, Hateful Eight? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like. <laughs> he had that youthful energy. Oh, yeah. Especially when he's talking about his big black dingus. He's also in yeah. a thousand movies. That's honestly, that was one of the most disturbing parts of any 69. movie, uh, was when he said big black dingus. Uh, because, and it had nothing to do with the movie, it was after the movie, when my wife <laughs> repeatedly said, my big black dingus, like every time. Sam's got a wild wife. <laughs> she's out of control. She's got the best Michael Caine impression. I, I will say that every time you come on, about how... You d- why would you say that in the microphone? <laughs> <laughs> like, really close to it. To yeah, well, you directed it to me. Did you hear To it? our audience. <laughs> With two microphones. And you know what? It's, I mean, I you, know that fact to be true. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I know this fact to be true. Uh, it was before your time, man. It was before my time. It was before my time. Are you guys Eskimo brothers? No, Lord, oh, no. No. Well, no. Couldn't be. Unless you did some weird stuff in between. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know what an Eskimo brother is? There is no is? way for us to be Eskimo bros unless right, you did some stuff in between. Right, we both live in Florida. <laughs> Duh. Yeah, it's too warm. <laughs> Obviously. They wouldn't survive I don't think here. Because so. definitely not me and Stephanie. We weren't, our relationship wasn't that way. It was it was angry nudity. It wasn't. Uh, <laughs> it was get out of this you. room. Yeah, it was really strange. Stop oh. stop was very, coming into the bathroom. It was and very I'm brotherly peeing. sisterly. Yeah. yeah, that's just that's a weird way to be like, what? Get that's, out of here! It's Look using at, your my... genitals as a weapon <laughs> versus as a sexual device. And I'm I'm being serious. I know that sounds like a joke. It's not. It's it's like if I were to use my dick on you. I'm not trying to sex you. I'm trying to like affect your I exactly. Have, I, I have your mental state. Oh my god! Oh yeah. my god! I have a great idea. Let's not talk about this with my <laughs> wife. <laughs> I've transitioned away. I brought it to him. Yeah, you better. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm gonna wrestle you. I'm gonna sketch him. <laughs> Give me a piece of paper. I'm gonna put it on the YouTube. <laughs> These are Mrs. Whitener's boobies. <laughs> it's it's literally uh, for those of you listening at home. I left the Z out. Craig I is. <laughs> Craig is drawing two circles on a stick figure. <laughs> I just I just whitewashed your name. I'm sorry about that. You whitewashed. I it? left the Z out by accident. Woodford took it away. You know, <laughs> when I taught, I went whitener. When I taught in Los Angeles and I taught little uh, El Salvadorian and Mexican kids from uh, the valley, they they had a hard time with Whitesner. They, yeah. So they just said Mr. W or Mr. Dubs. Um, Mr. Jewman. <laughs> they had a real hard time with that. And I was like, and I said, I have a hard time with your names, like trying to be fun. And they were like, what you got a problem with our names for? I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I see a red just bandana and I acknowledge you. Poorly. It went bad. It went south. I don't think I could ever teach. Why? Because he in, hates children. Kids, that's not all of it. <laughs> it is that's a big part of it. Some of it. Because when we were in college and I had my English degree, I fancied myself like, oh, I'm good at, at writing, or I thought I was, or whatever. I was able to do all the assignments, get good grades. I'm like, I want to show 
other kids how to do that. I could teach fucking kids how to do that, mm-hmm. but I wanted to do it on like a high school or college level. But 21 year old me, right, near 17 to 19 year old youths mm. was not a good fit no. for a bunch of reasons. It was the it's not just that there are pretty girls who are 18 and that could have been a problem, which is a minefield that I don't understand how young teachers navigate. It's not even it's not it. Young teachers, sure, but there was a, for me, there became a point where it was just like, girls at that age, it's, it still is, girls at that age just are no longer attractive But to me. that's because you're a reasonable human. I just saw an article <laughs> yesterday of a 26-year-old teacher, she was a, happened to be a female, yeah. that had a sex scandal. That happens more, you say it like that's like, well, no, it's it a happened lot. to be, it's but a it's, lot. I think the statistic is more, uh, I would, more I'm talking female about my ass, but I think it's more female teachers. We definitely uh, hear about it more. About the, the but she was also decent yeah. looking, so you kids. know he's a fucking hero. He's a folk hero. Yeah, he's yeah. John Henry. I mean, like, I, in his community. This song's so about that. So my last, my senior year in high school, I graduated, and my math teacher that year was her first year teaching. So she was twenty five. You porked her. I did. Post graduation, so good. Wait, graduation. Yeah, <laughs> it yeah. got real. Qu- it got real. After I graduated, he sexed a teach. Did you really? I did. But, but it was after graduated. I graduated. That's that's, that's still uh, pretty good. That's still pretty good. I. So my and friends, Sam my best jealous. friend, my best friend, uh, substitute teacher during the school year. You're mm. not you. No, my best friend, my best friend in high school. That is yes. subs are loose. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> I did hear that. Let me tell you something. I subbed for a See? while. Oh. See? See, and and uh, he was just putting the well, spunk no. in anyone's mouth. Oh no, 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 I'm sorry. When you said loose, I was I was talking about diarrhea. I had a lot of it. <laughs> I had a lot of it at the time I because of nerves. So you Cleveland time. steamed a bunch of chicks. No, no, no. I was I would run. Sam, the, they were 17. <laughs> I would run to the bathroom. How dare you? Because I was eating terribly. Um, I would like that's that. actually an interesting thing that you say you don't think you could be a teacher. Um, can't, can't, I know I can't now. And by the way, there's a salvageable episode here. Sugar you man. just have to add transitions. That's yeah, it. we're not going to oh, do no, that. Oh, no, this is all. I don't want to gonna... You should. It's editing is this good. Is, I will compress, and that is about deteriorated it. Deteriorated how I want I would, it to. I would almost find editing this a, cha- a fun challenge. But it takes so what much are. Time. If you, you don't, don't have you, the if wherewithal. If you don't think you could teach. You don't have the wherewithal. Let's discuss jobs we don't think we could do or uh, would never want to do. Uh, Hitman. No, I'd actually want that job. I thought about cool. that a like, long time. You want to kill people? I'd be okay with it. I don't, I don't think I want to kill people. I, I, think, okay I think the idea in my head of that sounds great, but then I'd get to it and be like, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I agree. I couldn't this do it. This is a life. No, I could I think I could. I think I could. I think you and I. Okay, I could do it. I couldn't, kill I couldn't do no, it. I could do it. This is the difference. I'm going <laughs> to tell you guys that. You just, definitely this could. This is that divide and again. And then would like 10 years later be like, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I did a bad thing. That was, that was bad. I'll tell you bad. honestly what, what I think it is, is Craig and I. <laughs> Craig, would, have, Craig would be the only hit person to kill somebody with a car every time. <laughs> <laughs> He'd find a way. Just so you go. Ah! <laughs> I just see that happening. Or like his calling card is that he always hit beats them to death with something soft. <laughs> it's gets like a, a, it's an aggressive pillow fight. He gets a phone book and just <laughs> <laughs> What happened? There's no bruises, we can't tell. <laughs> well, Anyways. I, I attest that to uh, you and me being in the service industry for uh, basically our entire lives. Sure. For 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 most of our adult lives, you and I have been in the service industry, and we've seen the best and the worst of people. And I think, like thinking back to some of the worst tables, some of the worst people I've ever come into contact with, and even in 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 a trivia mindset, I'm like, I kill you. And if there was a, if there was a big price tag on it. I could do it. I would do it for a small I price could do it. tag. <laughs> yeah, like, the thing that shocks me is that people are rude to those that handle their food. Yeah. It's so I've crazy. Seen crazy. Crazy. It's so stupid. Well, I was These telling, I was telling that, you the other night, oh, God, this was, and you can probably test this. You go up to a table of trivia, and it's, it's we get that, we still sometimes get that level of rude being trivia hosts, but uh, the, when you go up to a table and you go, hey, who's up for trivia tonight? And they don't even bother to look at you or no. respond. They just sit silently and wait for you to leave. <laughs> and that's when I linger even longer, and I go, it's free to play, guys. And then there's still nothing, and I go, we have a lot of prizes. And I tell them the categories until one of them goes, no, we're okay. And I'm like, okay. Oh, thank you for responding to us. I, I was just waiting. I was just waiting. Um, yeah, I, that's what I would attest to. Service industry, okay. yeah. I, I could see oh, that yeah. bringing that out of you. 
I for can sure. shock you with the job that I don't think I could do. You said okay. teaching, but what else? No, there's a there's a better one. It's okay. one I have so much experience in from the watching perspective, but I know I could not be a porn star. <laughs> I know that I could. Oh, yeah. Is it because of your small penis? It isn't because I've seen, I even seek out small <laughs> penis porn because it, porn a is boost. a, it's not even about the boost. It's about for what I think we as men, and now I'm going to say we, not knowing the kind of weird shit that Sam's into. This and should it's be weird. Good. <laughs> it, is it it's weird? fucking weird. Is it weird? <laughs> it's it's Honestly, real weird. It's the animated listen, stuff. I, it's real bad. I, he likes the, for the story. <laughs> I skip past the nudity. I don't think. What I'm saying is, I don't. I think, only like tentacles. Exclusively right. tentacles. I need stuff that's the, not dicks. The more, the better. <laughs> I'm not the only one that I, I. I think you get over a time desensitized to just the nudity, just boobies. Let me give you an example. Right. Mel made me go see Fifty Shades Free. No, we did it at home. Fifty Shades Freed. That's a two-hour movie where Dakota Johnson's titties are on air for 45 minutes. So by the, like... Her movies aren't even that 17th, good. No, she actually has a good body. Nothing wrong with it. Her, yeah, her movies By the 17th like, minute, I'm like, about, this is no longer arousing. I am diminished for it. So for me, pornography is like the mental aspect of putting yourself in the moment kind of thing. The visualization. It's why POV porn is so popular, right? Yeah, people yeah. like that. And VR. So that goes on to the. I didn't even know about that. You are literally <laughs> describing yeah. what women, how women work. It's it's cerebral. Yeah, and but you I'm have to feel like you're in the moment cerebral. and yeah. feel emotional and feel part of it. No, no, no. The emotional part, I do not agree. Uh, with. Oh, <laughs> oh, I cry because I want to come on it. No, no, no. <laughs> but I do. So the porn star, being a male porn star, we all at like 19 think, oh my god, that'd be the greatest job ever. As I never well. thought but that. I never all thought that. What? I never thought that. I did. We did. <laughs> Again, the divide of the table is real. It's very yep. apparent. It's yep. so real because I was so horny and I was having a lot of sex when we when we met. I was having a lot of sex with those particular people. It wasn't a lot of people. It was the one person. But over a weekend when I would see her, it'd be like eight or nine times. My penis would be hurting. It would be raw and chafed. You know where I'm well, coming I know from. Where that, I know where exactly don't. where you're coming from. I know they, where you're coming do from. You do know you know what a chafed sex? dick is? Some, yeah. Yes. Your face I'm says, saying it like a joke, but I mean face yes. No, but like genuinely. Yeah, no, I know what you're talking about. Right. It's enough I, fucking with... Where it's like, okay, this is like unenjoyable, but I'm going to keep doing it anyway. So, so basically, <laughs> you, the, the, the level of fucking... <laughs> the level of fucking we're talking about is, is you're like, it's going to hurt when I come again, but I'm going to come again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, that it's, might it's, be a while. It's that, same, it's that same thing that a crack addict is going through. Like, I know this is killing me, but... It the also, it also is, hurts to not Is have one it. more going to hurt? <laughs> right. So in those young days, I'm like, God, that's that's the job. You could do that. But the, the, the time of my life and the 15 years of experience, I'm like, they have a, they have a real bad job. A really bad job. Difficult, you, too. Very you, difficult. You got to figure out how to stay hard. You got to figure out how to be into it when it's so when not. All those weird Everyone angles. is watching too. you, too. The terrible angles. Mm. Like, I can fuck in one angle. <laughs> I don't even have two. I have one. She'll ask for the second. I'll do it. It's a disaster. It's like no one's we'll happy go back here. To one. I have one good one. These guys have to be able to do a bunch of different things. They also have to be kind of fit because these bitches can jump on you. Like all this stuff's happening. I'm like, there's no cut for cramps. There's no cut for all this like hydration. Cramp, cramp, Harley, cramp. Trailer is trailer is trailer is gonna yeah. walk in a cold tile. <laughs> That's the. One, I'm a big fan of of marriage now, where I wasn't when I first met you, and you know that. But that's one of the many benefits of marriage is like you pop a cramp and you could just end it. He's like, we're done. This, this, Time. Hold off. Time. this encounter Hold off. is ended. I'm in physical pain. I'll see you tomorrow because <laughs> you live here. You know what I mean? Like it's different because at 19, mm -hmm. you powered through the cramp because you're trying to impress oh, absolutely. someone. Yeah. You're trying to do something. You're trying to perform. And I'm not saying I don't try to perform. Well, I still it try to the that, goal be of, of the goal of intimacy becomes something else when you're married. And yeah. It's just like mm -hmm. we need. 20 minutes, 30 minutes to just be together in some kind of romantic context. Yeah. Versus like showing off. Yeah. Right. Versus like, yeah, I'm going to show you. I'm, I'm going like, to show you my you, move. And you, like I'm, that? you like that? And even though I'm not liking that, I'm going to make sure she's I'm like, asking you if you do. 
Do you, I very you much like do not. I don't. Like, <laughs> I'm tired. One of us should. I'm tired. Us I'm asking should. you for clarification. We're at the end of my one song. Like, if you don't come now, it's over. <laughs> Is your one song Kiss from a Rose? It was Constantine by Something Corporate. I it was seven it was, minutes long. Oh, okay. Something if Corporate. If I made it the whole I way, that. I did okay. I thought it was... Uh, <laughs> I thought it was R. Kelly's Ignition remix. No, that's just a song I like, and I recommend people fuck to it, but I don't... Oh, that yeah. wasn't, like, my fucky fuck song. If you... When he lived with me, even, and I brought some just horse women over, <laughs> just, like, just <laughs> really bad. We had, a, we had a number of parties where we would just go, <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. And I Oh, had baby, no. <laughs> it would be like, it would be like, you're here for... You are. <laughs> you are oh oh my are you in the you're in the right apartment who let you in <laughs> i so true story first week on campus i won a 300 hundred dollar yamaha cd player that <laughs> yamaha cd player made it to riverwind yeah man i remember that and thing mikey used to say and you used to joke about it too i don't know whether you could actually hear it or not but they would know because i would play the same song. oh i definitely no, i shared a, i shared a wall with I know you. you did it was the same <laughs> cd i never got to track two <laughs> <laughs> it would be like it would be like it would be like the song be going and then, <laughs> <laughs> because you could hear the shower you could hear the shower Yep. There was a reckless abandon about me as a young no, lad. You would hear, you would hear the, so, the song would the song would still be kind of going, but it would kind of turn down, and then you'd hear the the rushed footsteps <laughs> to the bathroom. The bup, 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 and then back to the bed. Bup, 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 bup. And here's a towel. Here's a towel. And I know this is sexist, but <laughs> but to be fair, I won't even say it. I I was dating a girl uh, between fre- uh, sophomore and, and junior year. That uh, Craig let me you uh, we came in to visit. Craig let me use. His bedroom. I don't know why my bedroom was off limits. I don't, I don't know why my remember we, did this. Did we move out at that point? I Maybe. Don't know. Yeah, I was dating a girl, and you were like, "Here, just use my room. I'll sleep on the couch." I remember that. I remember that very well. Did you I'm use the CD player? I'm such a fucking nice guy. Um, no, we did not use the CD player because it was just like it was a uh, post Universal, and so we were both like, "I'm gonna go to bed." I was always that guy. I was always the guy that was in bed by like ten o'clock. Yeah, <laughs> I'm always that dude that's like, I don't care what time. It is. I was a fucking closer. <laughs> <laughs> How many times we've said that long, so many times to people at like pong events at like that was one of the things like so when when we did clear pong Craig Craig's game when he didn't want to actually win but wanted to fuck with people was I'm going to get in your head. And one of one of my favorite lines Craig would say with with continuous fervor was you're not a closer bro. Can't close this, can't close that. And it would just <laughs> point to whatever girl, whatever douchebag was talking to that night and he's like you can't close anything. And it was just a consistent trend throughout the night. He's just like, you're not going to close that. And then when she would eventually walk away with her friends, Craig would just be standing there. And just win, lose, draw, didn't matter. He'd just be standing there and be like, what happened? I know we don't have any varsity Lake Brantley bowlers here, but I will attest for myself. Why would we? Can, we? <laughs> well, well, because they're You're the right. Coolest. We don't have any virgins here. Congratulations. Well. I'm not, but at the time I was. <laughs> but shit talk is something I do feel confident in. You're it's very not, good at shit talk. And it's talk. not something you could even do. Like you can't, like, you can't put me on the spot right now and do it. it, no. it has, it's yeah. so it's situational. situational. It's situational. so, it's so situational. we're about to play ping pong. I'm yeah. going to come up with the stuff I need to say that's going to fuck your serve up enough. Like that's my game. My game is going to be to mess with you in Whereas that moment. Whereas my game is to actually be complimentary, and they assume I'm shit-talking. I'm like, that was a really good serve. And they're like, what the fuck did you just <laughs> say to what, me? What? What? I'm like, well, because I don't know what I'm doing, but you did a really good job. And they're like, are you fucking You me? literally did that Monday. Monday when we were playing, we played against two bad. guys. We played Pong, and Craig was like, you guys don't fucking want this. He's like, you don't want this. Craig made two cups. I made four, but we won. And he was like, told you. <laughs> told you you didn't want this. But talk, then the next game, though. The next game, you did better. I did very You good. did better. Because it's about caring. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bar games are something I excel at just from the, the 10, 15 years of doing them. Yeah. But the, the shit talk is an art. Oh, it and is. it's something that in the moment, if wielded correctly, actually affects people. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, it, can, oh, it yeah. could be in a board game. It could be a Monopoly. Yeah. It could be in any competitive arena. And I think that's what I love about it is you could use it 
in places where people do not expect to be talked shit to. Yeah. <laughs> you're, then, you're in line at the bank, be like, bitch, you don't have enough money for that. What are you doing? <laughs> you don't even know that pin. <laughs> you won't. You won't push that What's your account right? number? You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> you won't push that. You won't push it. Push that pin. You won't. I heard you won't. <laughs> I heard you won't. Uh-huh. You know who I heard it from? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> I heard it from your fucking... Husband, I was fucking him in the ass, making them all, <laughs> making them all confused. <laughs> Your life's different now. <laughs> You're a shell of a person you were before you came into this bank. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> Sam and I go to banks. <laughs> we go behind women, and we tell them we fuck their husbands. <laughs> Just to see what the rest of their day looks like. <laughs> It's, but it's the two of us. Leave shoulder them, to yeah. shoulder. We <laughs> fucked your husband. <laughs> Leave confused and angry. How about that pin number now? You remember it? <laughs> Give me 20. No, what I will, happened there? I will agree that Craig's what? superpower is... is what is, is, is oh, I would say... What do you think not about that, Samantha? Talking, <laughs> not shit talking, but like unwavering confidence in, in the face of any kind of adversity. <laughs> He will just stand up to something and just stare it down and be like, I can do that. I got it. Yeah. Even if he is like a hundred percent in his in his mind he's convinced himself that he's fine to do right. it. You gotta, be able, you gotta be able to do that sometimes. So you gotta be able to say, like, I and know I've, I've been envious of that for like with, with the way you were with women in college. I was always like, How did you tell them they had nice boobs? <laughs> <laughs> I was so uncomfortable. I still am uncomfortable with my own damn wife. But you you your level of confidence is just yeah. like so no, it's unwavering. A, it's unwavering. I have to to backpack off of that, I have a, a great clear punk story. And unfortunately, we have we haven't done clear pong in a very long time. It's unfortunately, but also fortunately. Yeah. But um. But bar Olympics. But bar Olympics. I'm Brass excited. Tap Brass on the thirtieth. Five hundred yeah, yeah. interests on Facebook. I'm excited. It's gonna yeah, be busy. It's, uh, it's gonna be <laughs> that busy. sounds like it's uh, it's gonna be a busy night. Yeah. Oh, the office night there that we're gonna do. Yeah. Might be worse than Disney. <sighs> Disney had twelve hundred. It's the uh, office is already over fifteen hundred. Ah. Uh, I don't even know what. The, uh, I don't know what to expect. From uh, that. <laughs> That's Why gonna be is gross. the office the busy one? I don't get I don't that. know. I like the office, but no, no, I, I, yeah, I, like, yeah, yeah. I actually like it more than friends. Yeah, I'm just yeah, saying I didn't easily, know. Easily more than friends. Brass tap is a, this is real you gotta cut this part out. You go you continue. Uh, yeah. That was so, so about us working. <laughs> so we were at a clear pong event, and one night I had a girl that was very interested in me, and I was talking to her all night, we were hanging out, talking or whatever, and uh, it was just it was just one. And Craig got a, a phone number around the same time that I got a phone number. Yeah. And he was like, are we making this a battle? And it was it was <laughs> literally one of those things. He was like, are we making this? Is this a, is this a, is this a battle? See who? And it was yeah. the end of the night. It, the loser had to pay for gringos. And that was what we were doing. Yeah, you remember. Now and I do. Now yeah. I do. Now I you do remember. like bets. I do like bets. Yeah. You and know that. it you was know it, oh, yeah. And this is in, in, in the that sense that nope. Craig is not... <laughs> Craig is someone that will always – he loves his wife, then girlfriend. It wasn't even fiancé yet. It was no. girlfriend. Lord but no. there was no intention whatsoever of right. cheating on her. It was literally just for – The conquest. The, the, exactly. Yeah. It was to win the wager more than anything. Right. So he's on the mic and he's talking and a girl comes into the bar and immediately walks up to him and starts talking to him. Immediately. It happens in, in an instant. And while they're talking, uh, I, I go out and I do clear punk things. And, and throughout the course of the night, she just keeps getting closer and closer to him as a person. Now I remember the By one the end of the about. night, she's sitting on the bench next to him and she leans in to kiss him. And he turns his head and, and she gets straight cheek. And she's like, what, you don't want to kiss me? And Craig goes, if I kissed you, didn't even say no, didn't say yes, goes, if I kissed you. I'd be like every other guy in this bar, and I don't want to be that. And she goes, oh, my God. I gave him her phone number. It was a good, it was gave a good him move. her phone number. That's a move, man. Said, as she looked at him and said, as soon as I walked in this bar, I knew we were going to have a connection. Walk <laughs> right the fuck out. Craig looks at me and goes, Mel doesn't even say shit to me like that. I got to talk to Mel. He told her. And she was like. Shut up, Craig. <laughs> that was literally what happened. I've only, I've, and it's funny, I've only now developed confidence, of course, now that I'm married. But of that's course. sort of what happens. We've talked see, that, about that before. That's what I was about to say. The only reason I think that I had confidence 
through my Melly? No, it's no? before that. Oh. So I was in long term relationships. I figured out how to get someone to want to spend time with me for an extended period of time. So even when I was off with one of them, I still had the confidence of knowing still carried that over, I had a yeah. two year and a four year under the belt. I'm only nineteen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. So when I'd meet the next one and they mm-hmm. were like not feeling it, it's just so easy for me to transition. Had I been not a serial dater where I had high school girlfriends, long term girlfriends, right. and that came with its own baggage, by the way, and those sure. were bad relationships, but it gave me the confidence to be able to look at someone, make the cool or smooth comment, or say what needed to be said to, so I could be me still. But if I wasn't in those relationships, I think I'd be like most other guys where it's like, Man, I'm either going to say the cheesy bullshit line yeah. that doesn't work. It does not work. Or I'm never going to approach. Right. Yeah. And I took the I took that line of like, well, if I never approach, I've been turned down like a lot of times. I know like that those are the stories that don't get told, but I've gone up to women where it's just not worked out. Right. I think that I think that yeah, the for me, I was the, the first off, the idea of the friend zone has always been this excuse that guys have. Whereas the reality, I put myself in a friend zone <laughs> for yeah. many, many years. Uh, but the confidence for me came from dating my now wife. Yes, and uh, it's only like recently hosting trivia and being out that like women approach me. They, but how much easier would it be now to bag? Than before. So much because... And that's what stinks about no, being a married stinks. person in love with your wife. And I, you love your wife, I exactly. love mine. And we're not trying to even fuck around. But the irony is more women are attracted yeah, to, to us To me, it now. doesn't well, stink. It's a fascinating, morbid irony. I do. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, yeah. wow. Like, I'm fascinated by it. You've absolutely said that before, Craig, is you're like, if I... And it was when I was younger and it was in between relationships for me. You were like, if I was you, I'd be pulling. Just I pulling. would just, just like flowers in a field, like just oh, nothing, yeah. like it was no big, and for a little bit, I was pulling, yeah. I was pulling. So I, I did recently have, this is a funny story, I was at a wedding, and uh, my friends were basically like, you just cuckold with that guy, uh, that's, where, <laughs> that's where it ends. I'm Here's a big where, fan of that word. Let's, let's reverse, let's go back. I had back. to Google that. Yeah. And I do like that style of porn. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's very weird in that context, we were like, the guy's just like, what are you, do- what are you guys doing? Um. <laughs> What do you, what do, you got, do I pull it out? So <laughs> I, I no. Here's what happened. I was we we're at this wedding, and I I was telling you earlier. Uh, I I hosted the rehearsal dinner where I got to like basically roast, tr- roast everybody and try out stand up. And so the rest mm. of the weekend, not to toot my own horn, everyone was coming up to me and telling me, "Hey, great job." Right. Uh, you he, should. He just tooted his own horn. I tooted my own horn. <laughs> But toot, toot, this toot, this toot. woman comes when you up to say me. not to toot your own horn. Well, I didn't. It gives you a pass. That's fine. It was yeah. That's that's the way you do it. It's like uh-huh. I mean no disrespect, but fuck you. <laughs> not to be <laughs> your racist. Piece of shit. <laughs> your face offended. Um. So we're at the wedding. Everyone's been kind of drinking. Everyone's been doing their thing. And this woman comes up to me. This. No, we're gonna air all of it. All of it. Every single bit of it. This woman comes up to me, and she is sloshed. She's hammered, and she's putting her hands on me, and she's saying. She basically has invented this great piece of technology. She works for a big company. I'm not going to say the name. Uh, say it. Say Facebook. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she says she says she's invented, you know, basically the platform and is, is wants me to move to San Francisco to kind of work with her and do that. And I make money. <laughs> her, I, I, don't, I, don't, I think husband or, or long-term boyfriend is standing right there and he's just kind of watching it all happen. <laughs> My friends and wife are all over here watching it all happen. Straight and, cuckold. And I'm just kind of like, sure. She's like, but you have so much personality, and I want you to come be there. And I said, well, where is this? And she says, San Francisco. And I go, honey, can we move to San Francisco? <laughs> My wife said, no, I can't move to San Francisco. She's like, are you kidding? Oh, well, that's too bad. You guys got to come out there. And I'm like... She is, she is just gone. But I'm, I'm sitting there, and I, I say to my wife later, I go, "What? Why didn't you do anything? Why didn't you stop me?" And she, she said something to the effect of, "Like, I first off, I knew you weren't gonna go for that, and second off, I, she, she like, she didn't feel threatened by it. And second no. off, she's like, I love to watch you squirm. I love to see you <laughs> uncomfortable. And there's never a time more. I kind of love, love that about her. That's yeah. love. Yeah, yeah. She's like, she I has l- her own confidence about her. She's very com- She can t- strike up a conversation with anybody. And to much, a lot of times, much to my chagrin, uh, and other times, a lot of the time, it's much to like, I'm very envious of that. I think that's amazing. But other times, I'm like, you need to stop talking to this woman at Hobby Lobby because I don't want to be here any longer than I need to be. You know, she, we don't need to know that how she got to the uh, cash register at Hobby Lobby. Like, but that's how she and I created that bro sister yeah, relationship yeah. over those few years is because we were both the opener. 
the opener of the conversation, whereas her her close friend, who's your close friend, wasn't. Even no. though I know that that's strange in that atmosphere. It's like that's why she and I be and I yeah. know her before even they were dating. Yeah, you know. But I met them through you, and we became friendly that way. Where it's like, oh, I see that you're not afraid either. Yeah, she you don't just, have the fear. She's a very open person, and I can say that because she did her Michael Caine impression for me upon That's first right. meeting in our yeah, home. Because- Literally <laughs> shook her hand. I was like, "Hi, I'm Pat," and she was like, "Hi," and we shook hands. And then it was like, "Well, Craig, Craig, Here we like go. segued into it." Oh, absolutely. Then- but doesn't that tell you something great about a person when you know, like, she she's so confident in herself. She knew that it was a jokey thing we were doing. Oh, for sure. And then Making her, fun of her. <laughs> right, but, but that's the thing. Like, I'm, uh, w- she and I are when similar When she secretly way. thinks it's great. No, no she knows she it's No, she knows bad. it's dog shit. She you know? loves the fact that it's dog shit. And that's the thing. Yeah. You, you sometimes got to own the things. And I think that's what, that's what that whole personality trait is about. Mm-hmm. Being yeah. that person who yeah. says, you know what? I'm not the tallest or handsomest or whatever, but I'm going to go into this knowing that I'm me right. and I'm pretty cool right. with that. For and I that think, yeah, one yeah, yeah. piece. I think everybody has that in a specific arena. Yeah. You know, and for me, it's, it's when we I get up and do a trivia round and I got the mic in front of me and I got a crowd. I'm like, the thing that I'm confident about is that I know all of this shit. I like that you part. like doing the trivia. Yeah. Because that wasn't something you did years ago. No, you know what I no. mean? I again, I I've, I also get great value of it. For years, I've said that the the thing that you are confident about the most is that you have a small to medium sized penis. Yeah, and uh, I when I you tell, don't lie. There's no there's way those, they can come at you. Why don't you, you phrase it medium to small? Why is it? Why do you lead with small? It's small to medium. Because <laughs> you're building. Do, 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 oh, because it no, grows no, no, the bar to medium. Low, a real reason. Because it grows no, to medium. A real reason. This goes back to how, and you remember this, and now I'm remembering who Nicole was. It Sarah was a friend of yeah, hers. Yeah, yeah. And I showed them my penis. And what, <laughs> and I would what argue Sa- too many times. <laughs> yes, but Sarah said one of the awesomest things that ever happened in my whole human life. Never slept with her. Yeah. Nor right. did I sleep with Nicole. Right. But she said, and I quote, it's not as small as you said it was. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God that yes, happened. I know, that I happened know. at Riverwind. And I that's know. why you say small first. Can Under I just promise, point out in the context? Over-deliver. That's right. The context of, if I'm not mistaken, how that happened, it was like literally just in the living room. We were well, all just kind of like hanging around. You know, around. how I did it is not what we should talk about. <laughs> right. Breaking I bad take, is cool, but have you seen my dick? I would right. come out sometimes pantsless just to see. And oh, he was doing the, you know what? It was, for a long time. It was the Dane Put Cook. Put the lotion in the it basket. It was the Dane Cook that. era where like yes, everyone was. in college listened oh. to Dane Cook and he was still relevant. We saw him before he was yeah. sold out. And yeah, we did. Yeah, we talked about this. Yeah, yeah, we, we saw him. Where he was. He was like he barely a filled the improv. Of sixty, it was yeah. like nobody. Yeah, God, that, that's wild. Because when I got into comedy, he was the like he, he was, was the like arena. Dude, this yeah. was 03. Yeah. So this is way before that. That's yeah. when I got into comedy. About then, he wasn't famous yet. Maybe 05? Oh, by then he was already doing. Vicious he was Circle. huge. Vicious Circle was the. So but we saw 04. him that's in Orlando okay. in o o two or o three two or o three. I, well, you know how long ago it is. The hairline was here. Yeah, I had Both of good us. fucking hair. Both of us. So that's how old it was. I'm doing the. He's doing the Sufi, and I'm doing oh, this. Oh, I got that photo. I, yeah. I know. It's it's on my Facebook still. But he was so funny and edgy because no one was doing what he was doing. But except Louis C.K. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> oh. I, well, I didn't know his comedy back then. <laughs> I really yeah. didn't. Yeah, I really Neither did. Didn't. I. I didn't know it back then either. No, and we thought yeah. Dane was like yeah the god of comedy back then. because he was good at marketing. But um. Yeah, I, I, that was that was yeah. Those were interesting times. I look back. I always think about. So I just finished Cobra Kai. This, this is a reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's good. Give me your YouTube Red Pass. I I, I found. I got the thirty day free thing. They have a thirty. What? I only need seven. I'll watch. Yeah, all no, of it. no. Do it in seven <laughs> if you can. It was great. Uh, and the reason I liked it was because of what I was going to say in that I think that a lot of movies, a lot of TV are harping on nostalgia, but what they do really well, I think, is that they treat nostalgia like like heroin, where you need a fix, but you know it's bad for you. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, you see how it's ruined these two guys at the start of the of the thing. It's like, it's still like they're living in it, and they don't want to be. Yeah, I get it. I kicked a guy in the face. All right. Cool. Right, right, exactly. And he's like, Daniel LaRusso's got a car dealership, and he's still living, he's still, everything's about bonsai trees, everything's about, like, karate. And he even realizes it's fucking lame. Uh, you know, it is, it is, but it's awesome. And so I remember watching that, and I was thinking, like, okay, what is my nostalgia? What is my thing that I look 
It was like Dane Cook. I can't believe we li- we liked a lot of that. It oh, was like it ruled our lives. I think like lives. was an understatement. We yeah. used to the parking lot, the parking structure. We used to do the scream yeah, to each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like all he, the his stuff was edgy then. It is yeah, right. now. Yeah. And I didn't know Louis C.K. was well, doing shit before that. that. There's that. But Louis C.K. also like fucking was a douche with with he, the masturbating. And full circle, pulled his penis out in front of women. Yes, on yeah. one, <laughs> which I also did. Right, right. But contextually, they were cool with it. They were. <laughs> they were. That was those in the were, grand scheme. Those were two some. But two, that was one of the greatest compliments I've ever gotten. Yeah. And what it was based in is I undersold. Yep. I undersold that I had this tiny penis for so long, even though both of those women had met. Women I had fucked yeah. in that same apartment because yeah. they were friends of Sam's. Who in the circle became? We had a few parties at Riverwind. Yeah, yeah. We had a kegger. We had all these things. We had a good time there, and we had an alcoholic roommate that was phenomenal to use as that crux of <laughs> nothing. Terrible, human terrible, terrible. <laughs> terrible human he was <laughs> awful. This is a person. I'm not a violent guy, but I put him up against the wall and said, "I'm going to take your goddamn eyes." Wow. <laughs> Sam and Damien didn't get along. <laughs> what? Damien and I got along. Because it, I I got him, I understood. He was this guy would drink twenty four beers a night, <laughs> and I am not. He joking. almost burnt the, wow. the house down. Twenty four beers. Yeah. Where is he now? De- I, I'm, I assuming dead. Dead. Oh. I'm assuming dead. I'm assuming dead. You hope dead. I this, hope. this this, oh, this could transition us to political. Where what, he had money because his family was Native American. Oh. And I sent him on the trail of tears. Arguably, <laughs> he would say this like he felt like he was predispositioned for alcoholism, yeah. Yeah. and he used to say it. Mm. But the reality was, like, no, nah, you doing that, bro? What's yeah. like, <laughs> what was his predisposition to make beef stroganoff at two in the morning and leave it <laughs> boiling over to, for me to find on the stove? It was stroganoff. It was. I woke up. I woke up at ten a.m. Hamburger helper. And I went, I went like, no, Straight it's not off. Hamburger Helper, Walmart brand, <laughs> right. knockoff Hamburger Helper. I Burger woke up, Buddy. It woke was up straight at 10 a.m. And I went, oh. what the hell smells like beef stroganoff? <laughs> and like specifically thinking that. And sure enough, there's a boiling, like still all the way up to high, boiling over on the stove. He used to have this laugh? terrible laugh. Yeah. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> That's not. This is a. Yeah, re- yeah. He, he sounds a like a South Park character. He's a real person yep. that we lived with for an entire fifteen Very months. Smelly. Twenty-four beers, a night. A night. Oh. Came with. Well, actually, it's probably a twenty because Bud Bud Light at the time didn't come in twenty fours. It was the box, and that's yeah. a twenty. But he would, he'd walk to like the Seven Eleven and get it. No, he'd bring it with him. A lot of the times, he worked at Hollywood Video. Oh, that's and again, right. This is oh, that was a place. Our, right. Well, we're dating ourselves Didn't here. Didn't bring home movies. <laughs> 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 Only came. Maybe home. that's what it stems to. Maybe that's why I hate him. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> why didn't you bring us movies? The one thing we wanted. But here's how I know that you and Damien didn't get along. Mm-hmm. I watched a lot of movies with Damien that he brought home from Hollywood Video. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Probably. Well, no. We hit it off. But, we, but we, he went to bed so early. Like, how we got you... off? We got off of the wrong foot very early on. I would be up with Damien at 3 in the morning. Yeah. That's not Sam's game. No. Well, that's always been our thing. That's yeah. always you and me. So and... I did. I played video games with him. Sure. That he rented from Hollywood. Sure. I watched movies But I feel like fundamentally we wouldn't get along. Like, even oh, if I did no. stay up with fuck him. no. No, no, no. I couldn't find a common no, no, ground no. with him. It may no. be, maybe... Nope. No, nope. <laughs> nope. There's not a you that fits with him. No. But I, I, I can be a little bit of a chameleon also because I have my vices that are stronger than yours. I, I also, I've chameleoned oh, in you many have some different... Vices. Yeah. I, I can be a chameleon in a lot of different areas, but for some reason, it's just like that was... He was a person I just could not jive He was with. an extreme. He yeah. was a far extreme. And here's what was really weird about him. Sam's brought up his odor a few times, and he had one. Ooh. It was a it was a stale That's alcoholic a smell, uh, but it was like beer left outside. No, but smell. here's the beauty of it. Somehow, and I've met several men like this. He pulled pussy still, and had a girl all the time. Yeah, wasn't it like? Would, didn't he have like a girl that was it always was around? Very strange. The same his one room though. That's what I'm saying. Reeked. Yeah, it was two different in the 15 months. Yeah, two different women. But his room had a, a just a such a strong odor of. Staleness to the point where I would yell mold. at him to keep his door shut. Yes, Sam and he got into some some matches. I t- the reason I told him I was going to take his eyes was that <laughs> he said he said he was throwing a party and he actually was nice enough to say, "Is that okay?" I said, "Yeah, it's finals tomorrow. I gotta be up early. 
Okay. Can you have it? When do you? Th- I even said, when do you think you can have it done? Not like get out of here by like eleven. Yeah. When do you think it'll be over? He said twelve. I said, oh, that's bullshit. I said that's fine. I said that's great because I thought I thought that's what it was going to be over. But in his mind, it was we'll start at twelve, and <laughs> it was still going at three, four. And I'd asked him repeatedly, and I walked out of my bathroom. <laughs> yeah, this guy was at the fucking party. <laughs> I was raging. I was, I was so pissed at him. <laughs> yes, he was. I would like knock on his wall to get it to turn I know, down. I know. So I walked out of my bathrobe and I armbarred this kid up to the wall. And I'm not, I wasn't athletic then. And I just put him up. It was just pure rage. And I just screamed at him. And his girlfriend said, I don't think anyone's got to take anyone's eyes. You can put him <laughs> down. And then, uh, and then I think it ended. It did. Because it was like a bummer for me to come out and do that. But I also, it was four in the morning. I had to be up in like three hours. He's a studious That's fair. guy. That's fair. He's I'm not even studious. Guy. I just like to be well rested. You like I, your sleep. I get that. <laughs> you I like get your that. sleep. You then moved in with Mikey and David. That was oh, a good God, fit. did we get good sleep they there. They fucked me over big time, and we should get into <laughs> you, this. You told me about did it. Yeah, you, let's talk about did it. Did you Wait, let's, feel let's, fucked let's, over? Because Did I feel oh, fucked yeah, over? Yeah, what was the three hours? I thought we all let's, had a conversation. I never. This is something I've never no, talked about. do not about. air this. <laughs> no, okay, okay. Let, let's wrap up now. He's we're, right, though. We're you at three hours. this into its different into pieces. Segments, okay. Into segments. Okay. We have a movie here. segment. We have a piece. This is a lazy motherfucker right here. Yeah. I'll cut everything I have a job. I have to make coats. I have three out of the. I have two. <laughs> and and not half. one of them is Fuck being. You, bro, a I do a lot of stuff. Like I don't know what you're talking about. I have you to, have one job. I have to type for on a the multinational computer? corporation it that only requires. Nice. It's very that you cushy. You be there yeah. certain times. Yeah. It's very cushy. Yeah. Right. Two so out of the five days of the week, I work here. Edit this you know what I think accurately. it is? You know what I think it is? I think Robot Boy can't do it. I don't think the motherfucker can edit. I don't know what this is, but I'm using it from now on. Anytime I talk to him, I was trying to get Greg to start talking in clothes. He can, he can edit. I know how to do things on the internet with the computer. If you could edit, you would chop this into what it's supposed to be. I still can. We haven't even talked about what we're gonna do yet. That's true. I'm just saying you're about to talk about something that you said you didn't want on, and we're about to hit three hours. Yeah, which is a new record for us. That is a new record for us. This is good. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up, and we'll keep talking. My die of starvation. I gotta get home. (laughs) Okay. Well, well, everyone in the junk drawer nation, that was uh, what were you gonna say? Yeah, we gotta fight. That was (laughs) oh the the fucking move. The the move. We're gonna talk about it, but in a minute. In episode 23, 22, 22, 22. Sam and I will come back. 22 is the wine tasting. 23 is the I like you. You are my friend. (laughs) Why did you hurt me so deep? (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. Okay. David and Mikey. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Junk drawer. Everyone. uh, Thanks for watching. This has been uh, Drunk Drawer Two. Drunk Drawer Two. Definitely. It is official. For sure. Or two. Follow us on a Twitter. We don't use Facebook. We don't use Instagram. I'm why, working on it. Why don't we're working on it. We Facebook. just because we're, we're not there yet. I'm the Instagram. Live I'm would working be so on good. it. But Facebook isn't that's, great. That's but. phase two. I we're use MS there. Paint. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Sam <laughs> uses Paint, and we'll see you guys next time. Smash that motherfucking like button. See y'all later.